can support us, completed Novel House in link below clip. Thank you for come in and love the sharing story, Chapter 341. Third Branch's development since Zhou Yang and Zhou Wuni's return, second sister-in-law, was bottled up in depression. Being asked by him, she couldn't help but explode in an outburst, I told you before, and you didn't believe me. Fourth Branch looked down on our second branch. Now you see it. Why are you saying this again? Second brother frowned. He disliked these words the most. How could he not be aware whether old fourth looked down on him? Wasn't all the brothers treated the same? What's more, he left $500 in eldest brother's care. If he needs it, he can use it for an emergency. Does show any prejudice? Moreover, he knew exactly what temper old fourth had. Not to mention his own brothers, even if outsiders were poor, he would not look down upon others. It just happened that his wife would speak words like these occasionally. Truly lead astray. Second sister-in-law didn't know that her man found her annoying in his mind and kept talking, why can't I? Does our family have a share of that tape recorder? Eldest branch and third branch who are on good terms with her does. Hearing this, second brother realized why she was so upset. You better not let me hear you say such words in the future, or you can go back to your maternal family's house. My old Joe family can't afford a wife like you. For the first time, second brother looked at his wife with such cold eyes. Even when she caused a fuss in the past, second brother had never been so disappointed with his wife. This time he was really disappointed. Why did fourth sister-in-law give the tape recorder? It was for Wu and I and Yang Yang to listen to English. If his daughter and son were studying, wouldn't they be able to use it too? So how could there be biased? But because his wife refused to let them study. Xiao Xiao went to study for a few years and the rest hadn't studied anything. Why would they need to listen to English? Just because of this, his own wife can make trouble like this. And even say something like looking down on second branch. Last time they came back, first sister-in-law and third sister-in-law received the milk powder and candies. Our family wasn't left out. Eldest-in-law and third sister-in-law had even visited them. While well, you didn't even take a step. The other didn't hold it to heart. You actually think so beautifully and want to covet everything? Questioned second brother. That's a tape recorder. Second sister-in-law gritted her teeth. The ones using the tape recorder are my nephew and my niece. Second brother coldly pointed out, I'm not joking with you. If you try to sow discord between our old Joe brothers, you can go back to your old Chin family. We can get a divorce. You. You actually want to divorce me? Second sister-in-law was stunned, we have so many children and you want to divorce me? If you don't want to get divorced, behave. There are no big storms in the old Joe family. Everything heading in the right direction. Don't stir trouble out of nowhere. Second brother stated. Second sister-in-law cried. She turned around and burst into tears. Second brother was also upset and frustrated. He had enough of this woman, so he put on his clothes and went to swim in the river. Third brother just came back from swimming outside and encountered him, second brother, you're still going to swim at this time. N. Going to cool off. Second brother finished speaking and left. Third brother went back. He talked about it with third sister-in-law, judging by second brother's appearance, he most likely had quarreled with second sister-in-law. So be it. That person is bored and wants to stir some chaos. Third sister-in-law remarked with curled lips. We're all one family. Don't mind about that much. Third brother urged. If I did mind, then this house would be noisy all day long. Third sister-in-law harumphed. Third brother didn't give any response. He also felt that this second sister-in-law was overboard. She always liked to be petty about the littlest things. He knew that it must be because she had no share of fourth sister-in-law's tape recorder. But that was for listening to English. Yang Yang and Wuni's weakness was English. So shouldn't they listen more? What was there to mind? 
wife, I plan to borrow some money from my parents. After being silent for a while, third brother broke out in a low voice, you want to go work in the city? Hearing this, third sister-in-law coped on quickly. N. Third brother answered. With how second sister-in-law was, there will definitely be problems at home further along the line. His wife wasn't one to tolerate. Moreover, third brother originally had that idea in his mind. It was just he hadn't dared to say it. Our family owns 200. There was 500 yuans left by Ching Bai. I can get 300 from eldest brother's side. I'm afraid I will have to ask 300 from my parents. Third brother said. Are the shops in the city so expensive, uttered third sister-in-law. It's not cheap. Third brother shook his head. It's okay if it's not cheap. You can always give it a go. Third sister-in-law didn't want to live here anymore. Otherwise, the surface appearance would be torn apart and she would have a fight with that person in second branch soon or later. It'll be ugly. After the couple had this thought, they naturally started to act. When third brother Lin came to Zhou Dong to collect the eggs, he asked him about the shop in the city. I used 680 then. The other party was in a rush, so I got a bargain. However, other shops aren't that cheap. If you want it, I can ask around for you. Third brother Lin said. Then I will trouble you. Third brother nodded. Third brother Lin had helped inquire around. On another street about 20 minutes walk from his shop, a shop owner said he wanted to sell it. The price was 700 yuan. It was only a shop, the kind that couldn't live in. It was much smaller than third brother Lin's. Still, the price was arbitrarily 700 yuan. Not a penny less. This shop got a pretty good front. Still, third brother Lin looked at other shops. After looking around, he felt that the first shop was the best and most cost-effective. He also called third brother to come over and check, I think this shop is very good. The place is a bit small and can't be used as a living place. Still, this is the cheapest. There is a place with living area, which costs 800 to 900. Not a good deal. Third brother rode a bicycle and came over to take a look. The shop was indeed not big. However, the location was really good. It was on the main street and leads in all directions. If he were to do business, it won't do badly. This shop is really good. Third brother remarked. What about accommodation? Third brother Lin turned to him and asked. I can live at my youngest brother-in-law's. Third brother. Third brother Lin nodded. He knew that Su Da Lin's family had moved to the capital. However, it wasn't his place to speak. Seeing that third brother knew what he was doing, he didn't say anything. When Lin Qing, he learned that third brother ran to the city to buy a shop, it was already October National Day. It was due to third brother getting Wu and I to write a letter to tell them. It was eloquently conveyed through several pages of letter. It was third brother Lin who helped him find it. He also taught third brother some tips on doing business. At this moment, third brother had settled everything. As for third sister-in-law, she hadn't been in the city yet. Once this year's autumn harvest is over, the family will probably move there. Judging from the letter, third brother was obviously giving the business a try. Chapter 342 Sky-high price father Zhou and mother Zhou were naturally delighted. Mother Zhou asked, don't know if it can work out? Lin Qing, he paid her no heed. Zhou Xiaomei took over and said, as long as he works hard, it will definitely work out. Isn't fourth sister-in-law's third brother doing well? If this was a month ago, how could Zhou Xiaomei have such confidence to say such things? After this month or so, Zhou Xiaomei had really gained some foundation. On the third day they came here, Su Da Lin's bun shop opened. Although the business wasn't popular, it wasn't bad. He worked diligently and cautiously every day. In October. The buns made almost 130 yuan after excluding the current expenditures. 
This wasn't a lot, but it wasn't little either. It was worth two months of Sue DeLynn's salary when he was in the county city, the hearts of the couple finally settled down. It was tiring to make steamed buns since he had to get up in the middle of the night to make the dough and the likes. Still, Sue DeLynn did it very enthusiastically. Joe Chame lazily slept until almost six o'clock before coming to help. Let's not talk about this. Joe Chame could the business's potential from this income. So she felt that if her third brother went to open a shop in the city, he would definitely be no different. It's thanks to Dewa's uncle. Mother Zhou was happy to hear this and felt a little embarrassed. She said to Lin Ching, he, they're doing the same business. I wonder if he will steal the business from Dewa's uncle. Then third brother and third sister-in-law got to have the ability to steal. My third brother is very good at doing business. Lin Qing, he raised her eyebrows and replied. Mother Zhou just choked. Zhou Xiaomei laughed, Mother, don't need to intervene. To buy a shop in the city will cost a lot of money. Does third brother have that much money? This time I went back, your fourth sister-in-law gave me 500 yuan and I left it with my eldest brother before coming back. If they lack capital for their business, they can go to eldest brother for temporary use. Zhou Qingbai said. Fourth's wife is thoughtful. It was Father Zhou. He looked at Lin Qing, he with approval. This old saying was true. Marrying a capable wife equal to bringing fortune to three generations. Father Zhou felt this was true. Mother Zhou was too moved and looked at the youngest daughter-in-law. Lin Qing, he coughed dryly. She glanced at her man. Really, he wanted to gain favors for her. We're all one family. I naturally hope that everyone will do well. In the future, we will be old too. At that time, it'll be the world of young people like Dewa. It's better when everyone will take care of each other. Lin Qing, he responded. Mother is content that you can think like this. Mother Zhou said. Mother, you are content. Then I am also content. Lin Qing, he replied. Mother Zhou smilingly stared at her. Lin Qing, he's relationship with her mother-in-law got its rough patches. She almost had goosebumps from her affectionate eyes. Better to drop it and not take any action. Brother-in-law, business is quite stable now. Have you planned to buy a tricycle and hand the shop to Xiaomei so you can go sell it outside? Lin Qing, he asked. Yes. I do, have this plan. Su De Lin nodded. Fourth sister-in-law, don't we have too little flavor selection? Zhou Xiaomei asked. At present, there were three types of steamed buns, meat bun with mushrooms, meat bun with Chinese cabbage, and meat bun with cabbage. Lin Qing, he answered, the selection is indeed limited. Do you have any additional flavors? I planned to add another, pickled pork bun. Zhou Xiaomei said. Cut carrots into shreds and it can also be used in buns. Scrambled egg buns are also good. Lin Qing, he suggested. We'll. Try, try to all. Su De Lin nodded. Have to make so many kinds of buns? Mother Zhou uttered. Have, have to. Su De Lin said. If he wanted the bun shop business to go on for a long time, naturally, he has to have more variety. Some people want to eat this kind, some people want to eat that kind. All in all, have to make more flavors, so it will not be monotonous. Mother, you don't understand. Don't speak. Zhou Xiaomei said and then turned to her fourth sister-in-law. Fourth sister-in-law, De Lin wants to add soy milk. What do you think? If you can handle it, it's definitely an excellent option. Just selling soy milk is also an income. Lin Qing he applauded. She felt that it was right to advise Zhou Xiaomei on considering Su De Lin at the beginning. Look, how good the man was. When it's very busy, don't be lazy. Get up and help De Lin. Mother Zhou told her daughter off. I have to look after the children? Zhou Xiaomei explained. 
Stop finding excuses. Ching Ching and Sun Sun are going to study. Yeah yeah and Tian Tian have me and your father. What else? You can't let Dalin do everything in the shop. Remember to help tomorrow morning. Mother Zhou stated. I, can, can handle it all. Su Da Lin said. Zhou Xiaomei sighed and said, never mind. I'll get up with you in the future. Letting her Da Lin get up and work on his own, she felt guilty. Lin Qing, he smiled but didn't say anything about this topic. She just said, now that the shop hasn't been bought yet, Xiaomei, do work harder and listen to mother. I wonder how much the shop here will cost? Mother Zhou asked. Lin Qing, he looked at Zhou Qingbai. Zhou Qingbai responded, the landlord of De Lin's bun shop isn't willing to sell it. He had asked, but the landlord wasn't short of money. It can be rented, but not sold. In this case, if you want that shop, it will definitely be a lot more expensive. Of course, you can also change place. Lin Qing, he said. This was how business was. There would be a loss of popularity if one changed the shop. Unless it was relatively close and people can see it on the way over. Otherwise, the shop's former popularity will be greatly compromised. Then how much money? Zhou Xiaomei asked. I guess it will cost four to five thousand. Zhou Qingbai said. His dumpling shop was a duplex. His wife spent 3,000 yuan to buy it. It was because the other party wanted to sell it and it was two years ago. Now it was changing with each passing day. Su Da Lin's bun shop wasn't that big, but it still wasn't cheap. Especially since the owner don't necessarily want to sell it. Naturally, this can only raise the price more, but it won't raise too much. There was no need to let others overcharge. At most, start again. When the price of four or five thousand came out, Su Da Lin and Zhou Xiaomei were both stunned. Not to mention Father Zhou and Mother Zhou. That chicken coop size shop costs four to five thousand yuan? Mother Zhou was dumbfounded by the sky high price. Chapter 343 Getting a call, such a price, was truly sky high. After all, how much did Third Brother Lin's shop cost in the county city? How much was the one bought by third brother? However, the capital was the capital. Even at this moment, it was just advocating that a portion of people get rich first and then those who hadn't yet later. The gap between rich and poor wasn't big, but some differences were really inherent. The shop here was the price. It should be. Zhou Qingbai gave the honest truth. What he didn't say was that if the owner didn't lack money, then maybe they won't sell it. He just looked at his sister and said, earn money with Dalin. Even if you don't buy this, you have to buy one from elsewhere. According to his wife, if one didn't buy it these few years, it will become more and more expensive in the future. Especially with the real sky-high prices of later generations. In Zhou Qing Bai's view, one got to get into business, to be able to buy a shop. Or a house. So he suggested his sister and brother-in-law to buy it quickly. Fourth brother, are you and fourth sister-in-law planning to buy? Zhou Xiaomei asked. Naturally, we got that plan. Once we have the money, we will buy Qing Bai's dumpling shop. Lin Qing, he said without blinking. Outsiders won't be clear about the dumpling shop's profit. The business at the clothing shop was very good. Usually, Air and I keeps the account. The daily amount was large, but the capital had yet to be deducted. Although she knew it was profitable, the specific profit wasn't clear to her. Then we will work hard and see if we can buy one. Zhou Xiaomei declared seriously. This is too expensive. Wait and see later, if it'll get cheaper? Mother Zhou said. It will only become more and more expensive in the future. Zhou Qingbai shook his head. After sitting here for a while, Zhou Qingbai and Su Da Lin went to the bathhouse to take a wash. Lin Qing, he asked Zhou Xiaomei and Mother Zhou if they want to go. Mother Zhou didn't. She just went with Zhou Xiaomei. 
Zhou Xiaomei rubbed her sister-in-law's back first. Then Lin Qing, he rubbed hers. Fourth sister-in-law, is there any way to move our household registration? Zhou Xiaomei asked. After she came to live here, she really liked this place. What's more, they already planned to buy a shop, so there was definitely no need to say where they'll develop in the future. That's why she wanted to solve the household registration problem. It's not easy. Lin Qing, he shook her head. Regardless of whether it was in the future or the present, it wasn't easy to move a household registration. Stay as it is for now. There's no problem with the children's study and other things are affected. Lin Qing, he said, if there is news, I will notify you as soon as possible. Aunt Ma and Uncle Ma went through a lot to let Ma Qing Min move back. She heard Aunt Ma say they spent more than 2,000 yuan to successfully move the household registration back. It was almost all of the old couple's savings. But now that he had moved back, the money was considered worth it. But Lin Qing, he did not want Zhou Xiaomei to spend so much money to move the household account. What can one do with this money? They'll talk about it later. Zhou Xiaomei naturally believed in her fourth sister-in-law and said, fortunately, have fourth sister-in-law here. If not, us, husband and wife would definitely not dare to come over. Bear the hardship now and work hard with brother-in-law. You won't be far behind in the future. Lin Qing, he said. It wasn't an easy matter for people to leave their homes. But now was really a good time. Later generations will call this a golden age everywhere. In this era, even if one just opened a bun shop, one didn't have to worry about transferring the money to long-term assets, real estate. N. Delin and I will do a good job. Zhou Xiaoming nodded. After a comfortable wash, they came out. Zhou Qingbai and Su Delin were already waiting outside. Zhou Xiaomei and Su Delin went back. Lin Qing, he, and Zhou Qingbai went home with their clothes bags. Eldest, that brat. Only sending one letter back in so long. Lin Qing, he, complained to Zhou Qingbai on the way home. After arriving at the military academy, he sent back a letter to report his safe arrival. After a few months, there was no news. It's strict over there. When there's no matter, it won't be easy to send news back. Zhou Qingbai didn't find it strange. Lin Qing, he knew this too. But that stinky kid had been raised by her. Even when she had confidence in him as a mother, she'll worry when he was thousands of miles away. Although she appeared unaffected, how could she not worry in her heart? But at this time, there were still many undercover agents. So the military academy was extremely strict. So forget it. But don't know if because the mother and son's heart were connected. After class the next day, Lin Qing, he heard her colleague answer the phone and called her to answer the phone. Once she heard it was her own stinky boy, Lin Qing he vented out, you brat. You finally know to give us a call? Do you know how long you haven't contacted home? Don't you know your grandparents miss you? Do you still have home in your heart? Your wings grow strong and you want to fly, right? Zhou Kai didn't have a chance to speak when he was bombarded by his fierce mother. Several students on his side couldn't help burst into laughter. They received a kick from Zhou Kai. He rubbed his face and said helplessly, Mom, there are classmates next to me. Hmph Lin Qing, he snorted and said, How are you doing over there? Everything is fine here. Mom, you don't need to worry. Have my grandparents all gone to the capital? Zhou Kai asked. They are here. Your youngest uncle's family is also here. When are you on vacation? Lin Qing, he replied. Does mom miss me? Zhou Kai grinned. You stinky boy. Lin Qing, he amusedly scolded. But she really did somewhat miss this smelly boy. Probably, due to being unaccustomed to this separation. We aren't on vacation yet. They let us rest for a half day today. That's why I have time to call you, Mom. Zhou Kai said. Is the training so harsh? Lin Qing, he couldn't help but ask. It's okay. 
not too harsh. I can bear it. Zhou Kai answered. Can your side Axia Postal Express delivery? Lin Qing, he asked. Yes. Zhou Kai nodded. Lin Qing, he spoke, then I will send you something in a few days. Remember to sign for it. Then they talked about a lot of other things, before she reluctantly hung up the phone. The older female teacher next to her naturally knew Zhou Kai. It was difficult to not know since he made a big announcement throughout the school that Lin Qing, he was his mother. She smiled and said, Miss him? I didn't feel it when he was by my side before. This time he went to the military academy for a few months. Except for a report of safety, only heard from him today. Lin Qing, he emotionally remarked. This child is very promising. There is no need to worry about him. The female teacher was also a mother. Her child hadn't been admitted here and was studying far away. She had the same feeling and comforted. Chapter 344 Thriving although it was just a phone call, Lin Qing, he was still relieved even when he didn't come back in person. When she went home after class, she started to make numbing spicy dried fish for her son. There weren't only numbing spicy dried fish. Because of luck, she encountered someone selling beef. So Lin Qing, he made five spice beef jerky. In addition, there were shoes and clothes. Although she knew that he might not be able to wear it and would wear a school uniform, Lin Qing, he still prepared two brand new casual clothes. These things were prepared for a week before they were delivered. Zhou Qingbai glanced at his wife several times. Lin Qing, he asked, is something wrong? I haven't seen you do it for me before. Zhou Qingbai looked at her and replied. Lin Qing, he was taken aback for a moment. Then she took in his gaze, which conveyed his envy toward his son, and chuckled at once. Zhou Qingbai looked away. I suddenly remembered. Look at our own families. There is still a lot left. Those are all I kept for you. You can go find Uncle Wang, father, or De Lin in the evening and snack on it with a drink. Lin Qing, he brought up immediately. Those are for me? Zhou Qingbai turned to her and asked. Of course, it's reserved for you. If not, then for who? I don't care about anyone else. Lin Qing, he answered. Only then was Zhou Qingbai satisfied. Then he went home with his wife. The express delivery at this time was very slow. That was why Lin Qing he made all dry goods. No need to be afraid of storage life and that everything will change taste. When it arrived at Zhou Kai's school, it was a whole eight days later. Which was pretty fast. When the things were delivered, Zhou Kai happened to finish dinner with two classmates. He came over to get the package. He took it back to the dormitory and saw that it was dried fish and beef jerky. It had his dorm mates envious. Your mother is too good. She sends you so much food. There are also two sets of clothes and two pairs of shoes. This beef jerky is really delicious. Five spice flavor. This dried fish is more fragrant. Spicy enough. Zhou Kai let them eat. He held the clothes to himself and found that the clothes his mother sent him were the perfect size. But if Lin Qing, he saw her eldest son now, she would definitely be surprised. Not to mention being as black as a piece of charcoal, his whole aura has also changed drastically. Agile as a cheetah now. Temporarily, the clothes can't be worn. Zhou Kai put them away. The two pairs of shoes also couldn't be worn yet. But this was his mother's thoughts. He put them all in the cabinet. Then he came over to eat beef jerky and dried fish. My mother's dried beef jerky and dried fish are delicious, right? Zhou Kai collected the dried fish and beef jerky and raised his eyebrows. It's delicious. His dorm mates praised. Only then, Zhou Kai let them continue to eat and asked, when will we have a break next time? There is no holiday at this time. But at the end of the year, there should be ten days, answered his dorm mate. Zhou Kai looked forward to the new year. He missed his family too. 
No matter how smoothly he sailed in the military academy and how he complete the training perfectly, he was still a little homesick. At Lin Ching he sighed, she had recently started producing long-sleeved autumn clothes. The small workshop was really small. Only got ten sewing machines. But after it opened, Lin Ching he had created a two-shift system. One shift was old Madame Sue and the others, who were responsible for the daytime. Another shift was the night shift. After old Madame Sue and that group got off work, the night shift started working until midnight. What's more, Lin Ching, he requested, for, was all young people who couldn't find a job for that group. Old Madame Sue's eldest daughter-in-law, Li Chui Feng, was the supervisor for the night shift. The salary band was the same. But because it was a night shift, when the dumpling shop was about to close at 9 o'clock, Zhou Ching Bai will deliver dumpling for supper. It can be considered as a benefit. With this two-shift system, even if there were fewer sewing machines, it still made up for a lot. Because they wholeheartedly worked, it goes without saying that how the work efficiency was. Even if it was old Madame Sue, it was very fast since there was no trivial matters that occurred at home happening. After all, the patterns were ready and there was no problems with the cutouts. Lin Ching, he wasn't stingy. Either when it was hot, she would bring a watermelon for everyone to snack on from time to time. Occasionally, she would get Zhou Ching Bai to cook a pot of mung bean soup and send Zhou Gui Lai to bring it over. It can be said to be busy, but the treatment was absolutely great. Because Lin Ching, he can consider many things, it was also very heartwarming. Occasionally, she would buy a few packs of candies to share. It wasn't that the workers were greedy for this, but this kind attitude was really made one feel assured. The working environment was also great. There were ten sewing machines in a large warehouse. It was very spacious. Other places were piled up with cloth and ready-made clothes. The ten people were all old acquaintances, and all were of good character. Basically, there was nothing terrible at all. They can talk while making clothes. Once it was time, they'll get off work and have enough time to cook dinner. As for the monthly salary, it was paid on the last day of the month. Which was very punctual. Lin Ching, he came over this day with a net bag of tomatoes in hand. She handed a few to each person. It tasted sour and sweet. A perfect combination. Work hard this year and next year I will increase your salary. Lin Ching, he smilingly declared. A raise in salary? Can't really. Old Madame Sue reservedly responded. Since having a job, old Madame Sue became like dumpling shop's Aunt Ma. It was like she was rejuvenated and felt very energetic every day. It's necessary. I'm very satisfied with everyone's work attitude. Salaries must be increased. Lin Ching, he stated. She promised. This year, it'll be like this. Next year, when the time comes, it'll be 40 yuan a month. This increase was 10 yuan. This had everyone overjoyed. Lin Ching, his current workshop, was known to all the neighbors left and right. No one in the apartment building didn't know. Everyone knew that Teacher Lin opened a small workshop by herself and there were more than 20 workers under her. Because of this, Mrs. Zhang from the old Zhang family next door thickened her face and talked to Lin Qinghe. She wanted to recommend herself to work there. However, Lin Qinghe refused. She simply said old Madame Su was responsible for that side. She won't intervene and the positions was already full. Also, Lin Qing, he didn't be polite with the old Zhang family. She didn't even say polite remarks like she would look for her when there was a shortage of people. Why would she be polite with those who target her man and son? Not only Mrs. Zhang, but also Zhang Meihe. After that person moved out of the house, she started doing fleshy business. This news was spread all over the apartment building. Occasionally, there were couples who quarreled behind closed doors. The reason was that the husband took money to go to Zhang Mei, he for entertainment, was found out. Chapter 345 Unemployed, it can be said that one person had caused a ripple of bad air in the community. 
Even like this, Zhang Mei, he had even gone to find old Madame Su's eldest daughter-in-law Li Chui Feng. She wanted to join the night shift or something, but Li Chui Feng disapproved. How could she possibly agree? There were also young lads on the night shift. Who knows if she would harm the guys. So there was nothing to discuss. Lin Qing, he wasn't a saint who wants to change people. Zhang Mei he was like this. She will never sympathize with her. So when Li Chui Feng brought it up, she didn't intervene. There was also Zhang Mei Lian, who targeted her eldest. She lived in another community. She was already working. Heard that she was in logistics. It was said she had changed two boyfriends. Both guys were taken back to her dormitory for the night. And then they left the next day. Don't think that in this era of underdeveloped supervisory information technology, it was possible to hide from the world. If one doesn't want others to know, then one shouldn't take action. Otherwise, even if there was a large distance away from the community, people will get to the bottom of it. In fact, Lin Qing, he wasn't interested in these. She didn't like to inquire about other people's news. But it can't be helped. Zhang Mei Lian had little awareness. She thought no one knew about her matter. When Lin Qing, he occasionally encountered her, she smiled sweetly. Why did she still have such an expression in front of her? Wasn't it because she was still aiming for her eldest and not giving up? That's why Lin Qing, he didn't have a good impression of her. It was no one's business whether she got a boyfriend or not. It was her freedom to love whoever. But to put clearly put on an act that she looked down on her and still come up and stick her face on her cold butt as if she bullied her. This was too much. So every time she saw Zhang Mei Lian, Lin Qing Yi's face displayed indifference. Lin Qing, he came to the dumpling shop that day. She saw Aunt Ma washing the dishes with an ugly expression. Aunt Ma, what's the matter? Are you feeling well? Lin Qing, he asked. No. I'm fine. Aunt Ma smiled. Lin Qing, he spoke, if you feel uncomfortable, then tell Qing Bai and have a day off. Aunt Ma smiled and nodded. Then she continued to wash the dishes. Lin Qing, he turned to Zhou Qing Bai. Zhou Qing Bai didn't pay much heed and said, the postman just sent a new letter for you. Lin Qing, he remembered when she heard this. She quickly went to get the letter and said, Li Li must have given birth. Sure enough, Wang Li gave birth. She gave birth to a daughter. The one in front was a son. Now, this was a daughter. After Lin Qing, he finished reading it, she smiled at Zhou Qing Bai, this time, you can have a goddaughter. Zhou Qing Bai grinned when he heard it, what should gift should we send? The rest isn't necessary. Just send some small clothes over. Lin Qing, he replied. Then she asked old Madame Su to help make some small winter clothes. It was going to be cold soon. There were small inner clothes and cotton padded clothes. Altogether, there were a dozen or so pieces. These were all sent to Wang Li's side. When Wang Li's manly Bo Chuan received these clothes, he smiled and showed them to Wang Li. Wang Li didn't know whether to laugh or cry, really that Qing He. It's not necessary to send so many. Young children sprout instantly. Though she said this, her heart was full of gratitude. At the time, she had the thoughts of aborting this daughter. But she was persuaded by Qing He. Now she gave birth. She was extremely glad. A son and a daughter. Completely perfect. This daughter was born at the right time. I heard the gossip that family planning will start next year. Lin Qing, he mentioned in her letter. Family planning was certainly being implemented in the capital. But the firmness wasn't great. It was in 1982 when it became firm and strict. Despite knowing this, Wang Li didn't care much. After the child was given birth, she got her man to get ligation. There can't be any more accidents in the future. Back to Lin Qing, he sighed. It was only a few days later that she heard about Aunt Ma's matter from old Madame Su. It was because she headed out early and returned late every day. 
Also, she occasionally went to the movie with her Ching Bai or gone to other places to see if there were any antiques that can be picked up. So she really didn't know what happened to Aunt Ma. Ma Ching Min, Uncle Ma's son, was now unemployed. The job was originally for Uncle Ma. Because he gave his work to his son, he now rode a tricycle to transport goods and make money. It wasn't a work that happened frequently, but it was enough to not eat idle meals. Ma Ching Min's salary was 40 yuan a month and Aunt Ma's was 30 yuan. Uncle Ma's work can earn almost 10 yuan a month to supplement the family. If the income of the family were added up, it wasn't little. However, Ma Ching Min's factory laid off staff. He was unlucky enough to get laid off. Now he was considered as being in a state of unemployment. That's why Aunt Ma was a little worried these days. Her grandson will go to kindergarten soon and it will be all expense. When Lin Qing, he went to bed that night, she chatted about this with Zhou Qing Bai. Ma Qing Min graduated from high school. His level of education isn't low. I have seen his writing. It's pretty firm. Say, should I put him in the warehouse? Lin Qing, he asked. The warehouse was currently managed by old Madame Su and her eldest daughter-in-law. But because they weren't literate, Lin Qing, he had to handle all the accounting books. And the warehouse must have professional management. It's not a bad idea to let him manage. Zhou Qingbai nodded. Ma Ching Min's character was good. Zhou Qingbai was quite familiar with him. Ma Ching Min often went to his place since Aunt Ma worked there. It's too idle to just manage the warehouse. How about I open another shop? Lin Qing, he asked. Zhou Qingbai raised his eyebrows and looked at his wife, not afraid of getting tired? What's to be afraid? Lin Qing, he didn't mind and said, I hired people to do it, so I'm not the one getting tired. Then she began to calculate the feasibility of this matter. She'll let Ma Ching Min manage the storeroom. She'll still manage the input book as she didn't want to let the people below know what the profits. So mainly the output accounts for him. Then let him go to supervise a shop. The clothing shop was basically stable. Zhou Er and I and Su Xing Mei were still responsible for that since both of them were already skilled at it. She was planning to let Hu Zi go to set up a street stall next year. But now, change of plan. Hu Zi can manage a menswear store with Ma Ching Min Lin Qing, he was one to take action. After she gave her class the next day, she went to the Housing Management Bureau. Chapter 346 Third shop, Lin Qing, he didn't want to open the shop too far. It was best to be near the women's clothing shop. After all, there were only two girls at the clothing store. The security of this moment can't compare to that of later generations. Usually, nothing would happen, but if something did, they can receive some support. Don't know if it because of her good luck. As just across the street from her women's clothing shop, there was a shop available. This shop was the same as Zhou Qing Bai's dumpling shop. It was a duplex too. This shop costs 5,000 yuan. The seller said not a penny less. The staff of the Housing Management Bureau clarified. Is now all right? Can you take me over to see? Lin Qing, he said. Okay. The staff member had received a packet of candies from Lin Qing, he before, and nodded in response. And if the shop was sold, she will also gain face. At this time, there was no such thing as commission. Only a fixed salary. They went over there and took a look. Lin Qing, he was satisfied. The second floor can be used as a warehouse. The area was very spacious. Also, the location. Beside the road and diagonally across from the women's clothing store. One can see the women's clothing store from the door. Lin Qing, he didn't hesitate at all. She instantly went back to arrange for the transfer procedures. Don't you need to discuss with your husband, the staff member said. No. I have the final say at home. Lin Qing, he answered. The staff member chuckled at this. Then the house was transferred. 
She was amazed when Lin Qing, he took such a large sum of money out of the cloth bag. 5,000 yuan. Half of what 10,000 yuan household owned. She didn't expect so much money to be produced in one go. Really rich. After receiving the deed and related documents, Lin Qing, he exited in a very good mood. The dumpling shop was only 3,000 yuan back then, while this one cost 5,000 yuan. However, Lin Qing, he didn't mind. Not only was the market now different from two years ago, the area of the shop was also larger. Just having a second floor made her felt it wasn't too expensive. She came over to the dumpling shop and whispered into Zhou Qingbai's ears. Zhou Qingbai was dumbfounded. He didn't expect his wife to be so fast. She only decided last night and bought it today. Since she already bought it, he said, go and talk to Aunt Ma. Lin Qing, he nodded and brought up her plans to Aunt Ma, who was washing the dishes. Aunt Ma was stunned. Immediately, she uttered, isn't old Mrs. Su in charge over there? Is it appropriate to let Qing Min go over? Appropriate. Lin Qing, he said. What Ma Qing Min going to manage was actually output account. Like how many clothes were made from the inputted fabrics. And what old Madame Su and her eldest daughter-in-law Li Chui Feng took care of was the quality control of the worker stitches and clothing. I also rented a shop. I plan to sell clothes as well. This time, men's clothing. At that time, Ching Min and my nephew will have to watch that shop. Lin Qing, he explained, the salary is the same as old Madame Su and others as he is also considered to be management. 35 yuan a month. After all, he has a lot of work to do. I have already decided that he will get a salary raise next year. Aunt Ma was overjoyed, all right, all right. I'll go back later and will tell him. Then I must trouble Aunt Ma. Lin Qing, he nodded. No trouble at all. Teacher Lin, I have to thank you for this. Old Madam Ma looked at Lin Qing, he, and spoke gratefully. She and her old partner were delighted that their son and his family can return to the city. It didn't matter that it took so much money to move the household registration back. After all, there was a job that he can do safely and steadily. All in all, it won't have gone badly. But who would have known, he encountered redundancy. This was naturally a thunderbolt. Without a job, there was no salary. It was her and her old partner. Although her son followed his dad and transport goods to make some money these days, he only made about 20 yuan a day. Including her salary, life can still keep going. But this wasn't a long-term solution. Aunt Ma had been very anxious for a while. She didn't expect that Lin Qing, he would arrange for this work. Taking care of the warehouse and watching the shop couldn't be any better. After work in the afternoon, Aunt Ma hurried home. Ma Ching Min was sleeping at home. The work was in the morning. He and his dad were exhausted from it. Ching Min Ching Min, get up. Mom got something to tell you. Aunt uttered as soon as she got home. Mom, Ching Min is tired. Huang Xiaolu said. Her heart ached at sight, how difficult things were for her man. I know he's tired. But it's good news. Aunt Ma explained. While she spoke, Ma Ching Min got up. Mom. You should go take a rest, too. Ma Ching Min uttered when he got up. It was hard on his mom, she supported the life of the family. Ching Min, listen to me first. Aunt Ma spoke and then recounted everything Lin Qing, he had said to her. Ma Ching Min was stunned, really? Teacher Lin told me personally. How can it be a lie? I'm just a little worried about whether you can manage the accounts and watch the shop. Aunt Ma expressed. I haven't managed it before, but it shouldn't be difficult. Ma Ching Min said. As for watching the shop, it shouldn't be difficult either. Teacher Lin said that when she comes back in the evening, she will talk to you. Aunt Ma informed. All right. Hope emerged in Ma Ching Min's heart. The past few days were really depressing. 
Although work was draining, it was better than doing nothing at home. In the afternoon, Lin Ching, he would sleep in the second floor of the dumpling shop. There was a newly bought summer mat on the floor, so she camped on the floor and didn't sleep in her niece's bed. When she woke up, Lin Ching, he went to class. Zhou Qingbai would close the shop at this time and go to nap too. There was basically no business between 2 to 4 in the afternoon. He will close the door to sleep or sleep for a short while and then go to Bay University to play basketball. This man knew how to enjoy life these past two years while making money. When Aunt Ma Aunt came to work in the afternoon, Ma Ching Min had followed. He couldn't wait until the evening, so he came first. Zhou Ching Bai told him about the interior design matter. Ma Ching Min was responsible for these matters. There was also the small workshop. He had to handle this side too. Ma Ching Min acknowledged each of them. When it was about time, he went to the kindergarten and brought his son back home. At this time, Lin Ching, he had got off work. Seeing him there, she knew what his intention. So she brought him over to the shop. Incidentally, she called Hu Zi, who was at the women's clothes shop across the street, over. Aunt, are you going to open a shop again? Hu Zi's jaw dropped when he came over. Chapter 347 Young boss, what do you mean by opening a shop again? I only have two. Lin Ching, he laughed. 3. There's also uncle's dumpling shop. Hu Zi pointed out. Your uncle's dumpling shop has nothing to do with me. His is his. Mine is mine. Lin Ching, he responded and then went back to business, this shop will be taken care of by you and your uncle Ching Min from now on. The shop's decoration or something will be complete by you and uncle Ching Min. Okay. End problem. Hu Zi nodded at once. He knew Ma Ching Min. After all, Hu Zi lived in the apartment building. Ma Xiao Dan came over to watch TV every night. So Lin Qing, he second clothing store, was handed over to Ma Ching Min and Hu Zi. Decorating and so on. Those they can do it by themselves, will be completed by themselves. Those they can't, they can find someone to do it. At the same time, Lin Qing, he went to order menswear. Cotton padded clothes, to ward against the cold. This order was given to the entrepreneurial and wealthy second generations factory that Zhou Qing by knew. This rich second generation who ventured out on his own called Wang Yuan. The rich second generation got a good character. Teacher Lin, you are planning to open a men's clothing store. Wang Yuan smilingly remarked after seeing the cotton padded clothes design. He knew that Lin Qing, he taught foreign languages at Bay University. He had to say that he admired her. Moreover, the design sketches were also very novel. Before it had always been women's clothing. He made a few and gave them to his family. They all loved them very much. It just there was no men's clothing. He wanted some too. Just opening a small shop. It's can't compare to your big factory. Lin Qing, he smiled. Wang Yuan, continued on, why are there fewer women's clothing orders now? Business is sluggish, Lin Qing, he answered. He still didn't know about her small workshop. Wang Yuan laughed, how could the business go down now? It's selling so well. Your menswear store will definitely not lag behind when you open it. When will this batch of clothes come out? Lin Qing, he asked. Half a month. Wang Yuan answered. Lin Qing, he nodded and signed a contract with him. Wang Yuan held deep respect after signing the contract. The contract was really well written. Teacher Lin, won't you come work for my factory? I may possibly take the international route in the future. At that time, I will have to have talents like you. If you are willing to come to my factory, five days a month will do. I will give a salary of 200 yuan. What do you think? Wang Yuan looked at Lin Qinghe. This wasn't the first time he wanted to headhunt Lin Qinghe. Lin Qing, he still declined and smiled, Boss Wang is too polite. 
With your offered salary, would there be a lack of translators in the future? Then why aren't you joining? Wang Yuan asked. He was only 23 years old. This year was the first year he ventured out on his own. It was obvious that he was intelligent and can manage things as the clothing factory was doing well. And his ambition was high. Since he thought of taking the international route. Lin Qing, he knew that he really wanted to recruit her, so she said, I don't want to do this. I prefer the life at Bay University. If the students under my hand have that intention in the future, let me introduce them to you. Okay. Wang Yuan was delighted when he heard this and grinned, when the time comes, you have to find me a good one. Even if they aren't at your level, they can't be too far off. He had a cousin who was studying abroad. Seeing that the situation in his country was better now, he came back this year. Just last month, his cousin came over and happened to meet Lin Qinghe. That fake foreigner was attracted by Lin Qinghe's aura. He had used English to strike up a conversation. He was used to flirting abroad and blurted it out smoothly. He wanted to remedy it by speaking in Chinese. It was then he heard Lin Qing, he replied to him in English. After that accident, they got into an exchange of words. Wang Yuan was shocked when he came out. Afterward, he heard his cousin say that this Bay University foreign language teacher was top-notch. Her pronunciation was perfect. Very pure. When Wang Yuan's cousin learned of Lin Qing, he's three sons, and the eldest had graduated from college, he couldn't describe how complicated his feeling was. He thought he met his true love, but he never thought his true love was already a mother and her child was already this big. However, this didn't affect Wang Yuan's appreciation of Lin Qinghe. He offered her excellent conditions. When Zhou Qingbai came to collect the goods, he would also express it to Zhou Qingbai. Lin Qing, he found Wang Yuan to be promising. This young boss had excellent interpersonal skills. He wasn't stingy. The most important thing was that he had a long-term vision and was eclectic. She was still a willingness to cooperate with such people. So, she sent the men's cotton-padded clothes order that the small workshop couldn't finish over to this side, keep his factory busy. The fact that Lin Qing, he opened another clothing store, quickly spread throughout the family. Fourth aunt, you're so astounding, Zhou Er and I admired. Very astounding. Su Xingmei nodded in agreement. Both Zhou Er and I and Hu Zi were now going to evening classes. Su Xingmei brought it up when she came over to watch TV at her grandparents. Mother Zhou was surprised, your aunt has opened another shop? Father Zhou was also surprised, but he didn't say anything. Aunt said it's going to sell men's clothing. Su Xing Mei nodded. Will it be too busy? Mother Zhou uttered. Aunt is getting Hu Zi and another neighbor come over to watch it. Su Xing Mei said. After some hesitation, she spoke, Grandma, my brother isn't studying this year. I wonder if he can come here to help. Mother Zhou understood when she heard this, you can ask your aunt about this. How could she possibly decide for fourth daughter-in-law? To be honest, she felt a little guilty. Because of coming here, fourth daughter-in-law brought a lot of good things. TV, tape recorder, electric fan. Which of these luxury goods weren't given to her and her old partner? Neighbors on the left and right in the capital praised when they heard it. But basically, she didn't help out anywhere. While on her youngest son-in-law's side, she would go to help sell the buns and collect the money. Her son's side didn't need her assistance. How would she dare to call the shots and introduce someone? Su Xing Mei didn't dare to speak about it to her aunt. She knew very well that her aunt wasn't one to hold back. Look what happened to Lu and I when she came over. She was sent back directly by her? Su De Lin and Zhou Xiaomei had a rare opportunity to close the shop early one day. The family of six went to the movies. They came back after eight o'clock in the evening. Only then did Zhou Xiaomei knew that her fourth sister-in-law had opened a third shop. In the evening of the next day, Su De Lin watched the shop by himself. 
Zhou Xiaomei brought Su Ya and Su Tian over. Lin Qing, he was writing a document on the second floor of the dumpling shop. She had arranged a writing desk for Zhou Er and I. She often came here to write documents and making records. Chapter 348 Street stall, she left her two little girls to play below. Zhou Xiaomei went upstairs to find her fourth sister-in-law. What's the matter? Have you eaten yet? Lin Qing, he uttered when she saw her. I will eat with you later. Zhou Xiaomei didn't act like an outsider. Lin Qing, he nodded and smiled, how's the business? Su De Lin and Zhou Xiaomei were very hardworking. The bun shop stayed open in the morning until after dinner before they close. Almost open for the whole day. Pretty good. When talking about her business, a smile lit up on Zhou Xiaomei's face. It was almost the end of October now, and it was nearly the second month since they came here. The first month they made more than 100, which was like a reassurance pill for her and her Dalin. This month's earning made it evident to Zhou Xiaomei how profitable this bun shop was. Su Dalin was a diligent person. He had bought a tricycle this month. In the morning, he left the shop to Zhou Xiaomei's care. His mother-in-law, Mother Zhou, would often come to help. As for himself, he rode the tricycle out to sell buns. He used a foam box with a layer of two clean cloths inside. Then he grabbed some oiled paper for the buns and he can do his business. The business was really good. Combining with the shop, this month, which had yet to end, had exceeded 200 yuan. How can Zhou Xiaomei not be overjoyed? Work hard and you won't do badly in the future. Lin Qing, he nodded. Fourth sister-in-law, Xing Mei went to watch TV at home yesterday and said you opened another clothing store. Zhou Xiaomei spoke. I'm just messing around. Lin Qing, he smilingly answered. What messing around? Fourth sister-in-law, why are you so brilliant? Zhou Xiaomei uttered enviously, if only I could be as good as fourth sister-in-law. Her fourth sister-in-law was truly a female of the new era. There was nothing she can't do. She was even better than men. Her fourth sister-in-law opened a dumpling shop. She didn't know how the dumpling shop's business was, the bun shop can be used as a comparison. At most, it can also earn more than 200 yuan. Although it was a lot, it definitely cannot compare to the clothing store. Zhou Er and I didn't say anything. However, Su Xingmei did say when it's busy. The clothing store can make two to three thousand yuan a month. Of course, there were expenses and so on to consider. Still, the profits will certainly not be low. Otherwise, her fourth sister-in-law couldn't open one at the beginning of the year and another at the end of this year, right? Zhou Xiaomei guessed it right. The profit of the clothing store was indeed huge. That's why when Lin Qing, he heard that Ma Qing Min had been laid off, she recruited him. Regarding the profit of the women's clothing store. Because of the addition of a small workshop, the profit had increased a lot as there was no middleman. At the peak, the profit of the clothing store was close to 3,000 yuan. So adding a men's clothing store was no problem. Anyway, opening one store was still opening. Same for two stores. Fourth sister-in-law, what do you think of me getting some clothes from your small clothing factory and set up a street stall in the plaza in the evening? Zhou Xiaomei said. Lin Qing, he smiled, what small clothing factory? It's a small workshop. Then she continued, of course, you can take it. But can you handle so much? Su De Lin had to get up super early in the morning. Although he can rest at noon, he was still tired. It was better to rest early in the evening. I definitely can. How much money can a piece make? Zhou Xiaomei asked. I can let you profit three dimes and give you five pieces a day. Lin Qing, he grinningly stated when she saw that she was really interested. Three dimes per piece weren't much, but it wasn't little either. Not to mention there were five pieces to sell. If she can sell two or three pieces each night, it was almost an average person's salary. All right. 
Zhou Xiaomei didn't dislike the condition, so she agreed. Counting the days, how long had she not gone to work to make money? When she used to have a job, it was only slightly over 20 yuan a month. It wasn't too much. Only half of Suda Lin's. But even if it was only 20 or so, she had earned by herself. She felt mentally satisfied. There was nothing wrong with being a housewife at home. It was just Zhou Xiaomei, who was used to earning, wanted to have her own job now. That day, she ate with them at the dumpling shop. After eating, she brought five pieces of clothes back. She left the children to Father Zhou and Mother Zhou to mind. Zhou Xiaomei pulled Su De Lin away to set up a street stall. With five pieces of clothes, she can start hawking her wear. Su De Lin didn't have any objections. The bun shop was very stable and won't do badly, but since his wife wanted to make some earning, then go for it. There were only five pieces of clothes. At this time, the stall business was very popular. Zhou Xiaomei found a place with a lot of people, and loudly advertised, new clothes. Brand new, directly from the manufacturer. They're sold at a lower price. Anyone who is interested can come and take a look. The five pieces of clothes were in five styles and colors. Whether it was quality or style, they were all very top-notch. Soon, people came to check them out. They didn't necessarily have buy it when they saw it. Still, five pieces of clothes were finally sold. Five pieces of clothing earned her one and a half yuan. Zhou Xiaomei was greatly pleased. This took less than an hour. Delin, the money in the capital is so easy to earn. Zhou Xiaomei was in a merry mood. Su Delin just smiled. His heart finally gained peace, which wasn't there before. When they first came, he felt really uneasy. But being the capital for the past two months, he deeply realized that as long as he wasn't lazy, he can still make money and support his family. I'm going to ask fourth sister-in-law if I can get more clothes. Zhou Xiaomei said. She went to find her fourth sister-in-law the next day. Lin Qing, he understood from her behavior that had sold out the clothes. Fourth sister-in-law, can you give me more clothes from your small factory? I want to take more. Zhou Xiaomei spoke. My side can't do it. There are two shops. Lin Qing, he explained, but if you want the clothes I got from the clothes factory, I can give you in bulk. However, the profit is only two dimes. She brought the goods from the clothing factory, so the price was naturally high. Lin Qing, he did not plan to give it to Zhou Xiaomei according to that price. Because she also had to make money. Every time it was Zhou Qing Bai and her who talked to Wang Yuan about the contract. Wang Yuan's factory was only found after she and Zhou Qing Bai had changed factory several times. Those factories from before weren't good factories. The most important thing was that if these clothes weren't wholesaled to Zhou Xiaomei, her shop can also take them on. The reason why they were wholesaled to Zhou Xiaomei was to give her some sweetness as the two of them had a good relationship. If it were another? See if she would give wholesale price and give away profit? So don't say that she was black-hearted. This was business. It was also a mutually beneficial business. She will not have any arrogant mentality because she gave up so much profit. Zhou Xiaomei had the earned money through her own efforts. It was a win-win. Chapter 349 Together, time, Zhou Xiaomei started her career as a street seller. She knew to be contented. Not all of her clothes would be sold every day. Sometimes she sold a lot and sometimes less. Whether she earned a few dimes or a yuan or so, she was deeply pleased. Hu Zi and Zhou Er and I had to go to evening classes every night. In comparison, Su Xing Mei was a lot more idle. She came over to her grandparents to watch TV every day. Grandma, how much money does Aunt Xiaomei make by selling clothes on the street? Su Xingmei asked. It's about a yuan. Mother Zhou knew the answer as she had heard her daughter say. She still felt that fourth daughter-in-law knew how to take care of her sister-in-law, Xiaomei. Not too much and not too little. 
even if she earned a dollar a day, it'll be 30 yuan a month. This was also an income. Grandma, really can't let my brother come over? Even if he doesn't work at the shop, it would be fine for him to sell clothes like Aunt, Xiao Mei. Stu Xingmei said. Mother Zhou said, it's not a bad idea. However, whether your brother can come over, don't ask grandma about this. Go to find your aunt. Then she continued, that's right. Both Er and I and Hu Zi are attending evening classes. Why didn't you go, Xing Mei? I can't read. Su Xing Mei said. Then, ask Er and I. Learn from her. Your aunt is very busy. She has no time to teach you this. You learn from Er and I and Hu Zi and listen to your aunt. Nothing can go wrong by studying. Zhou Mu said. You have to study more. Father Zhou also agreed and said. Both of them were taken around the Bay University by Old Wang. For the two of them, rural old people of the older generation, being able to stroll around the country's best university had them walking like they were floating. Old Wang's original words were, knowledge changes destiny. Studying and progress are required. Society is developing. Other things are not known yet. But what you learn is your own and you will never lose it for a lifetime. Father Zhou and Mother Zhou, who had attended literacy class for a few days, deeply agreed. The rest they can't understand, but they did understand the sentence, what you learn is your own and you will never lose it for a lifetime. So knowing that four daughter-in-law had arranged for their grandson and granddaughter to go to evening classes, both Father Zhou and Mother Zhou were delighted. Su Xingmei responded, I know I have to study, but I had been delayed by my mother. Hu Zi and Er and I both went to school before. I don't understand anything now. Take your time studying and you'll get. Mother Zhou said, your aunt had also attended a literacy class before. Now, look how brilliant she is. She entered a place like Bay University as a teacher. W. Hen Shi and her old partner followed old Wang around Bay University, they had gone to the lecture room to see fourth daughter-in-law. She stood on the podium and spoke in a foreign language. That sight was pleasing to the eye. Mother Zhou felt that she had never gained so much face in her life. Grandma, you think of me too highly. How many miles does it take to find someone like aunt? Although Su Xing Mei was a little afraid of her aunt, she had to admit that her aunt was really the most capable among the women she had ever seen. She created another small workshop, clothes shop and hired workers as well as starting a small clothing factory. And she was still teaching at Bay University. How many things can one person do? Your uncle is lucky. Mother Zhou grinned. Her youngest son was indeed blessed. By marrying such a wife, he basically had nothing to worry about. Su Xingmei didn't want to talk about this. She still wanted to introduce her brother. And her younger sisters too. After all, life here was so good. The countryside couldn't compare. What's more, her mother knew how to make clothes. If she comes here, she can also help out in the small workshop. But these words can only be held in her heart. She dared not say them. Before nine o'clock, Zhou Xiaomei and Su De Lin both returned. Mother Zhou asked, it's getting colder and colder here. Is business starting to decline? My fourth sister-in-law said that she had arranged for a batch of men's cotton padded clothes. Business shouldn't be bad then. Zhou Xiaomei replied in a good mood. Sure enough, it was right to follow her fourth sister-in-law. Business was better tonight. She made more than a yuan. Delin, let's not go hawking where tomorrow. Instead, take my parents to the bathhouse to take a wash. Zhou Xiaomei said. Okay. Su Delin nodded with a smile. Aunt, can I go with you and grandma tomorrow? Su Xingmei asked. Sure. Come here to eat and we will leave after six o'clock. While you're at it, ask fourth sister-in-law if she is going. Zhou Xiaomei responded. Su Xingmei nodded. Most of the time, Su Xingmei stayed here to sleep. There are a few rooms here. 
she slept in the study room alone. The next morning, she returned. In other words, there was only Zhou Er and I in the dumpling shop. Zhou Er and I wasn't afraid at all. There was nothing to be afraid of. The door was firmly locked. If she had to admit the apologetic truth, sleeping on her own was more peaceful. Never mind that Su Xing Mei had stinky feet as she didn't like to wash her feet frequently, she also yelled and talked in her sleep. Lin Qing, he's men's clothing store, was completely renovated in only three days. Although it was agreed with Wan Yuan that the order will be ready in half a month, Lin Qing, he still went ahead and took some back to open the store. The subsequent goods will be received later. The men's wear's business wasn't as good as that as women's wear. Still, it wasn't bad. On the first day it opened, 13 cotton padded clothes were sold. On the second day, they sold a little more, almost 20 pieces. The way it was, was pretty good. However, it was far away from women's wear's explosive business model. It won't lose money. Just manage it as it was. Zhou Xiaomei knew that the cotton padded clothes had arrived. She came over and took some of them out to sell on the street. Fourth sister in law allowed her five dimes profit. It was sold until November. It snowed, so no more street selling. At this time, she can saw the benefits of self employment. The snow had more or less affected business. The few stores' businesses had dropped a little, but it was still okay. Lin Qing, he had a rare opportunity to finish class early that afternoon, so she came to see Zhou Qing Bai, want to go to the bathhouse? Zhou Qing Bai glanced at his wife. Seeing her deep smile, the corner of his mouth also raised and said, wait for a second to get out of class first. When Zhou Xian came over after class, Zhou Qing Bai passed the work in the shop to him and said that they would eat by themselves at night. Then he went home with his wife to get clothes and go to the bathhouse. After taking a wash, the two of them came to the restaurant to eat roast duck and enjoyed their together time. We filled our stomach, now it's time to go home. Lin Qing, he looked at her Qing Bai. Zhou Qing Bai nodded. He settled the bill and went home with his wife. The couple went to bed early that night. When Zhou Kai, Hu Zi, and the others closed the shops and went home to watch TV until 10 o'clock, they saw Zhou Qing by coming out to pour a cup of water and mix it with honey before bringing it back to the room. All three half-grown lads were clueless. Chapter 350 Be serious, Lin Qing, his complexion was particularly great the next day. Between Zhou Qing Bai's eyebrows, one can sense peace and softness. Discerning people can tell at a glance that this was a man with a happy family. Zhou Qin Bai persisted in getting up early even until now. Even though it was cold now, he still headed to the dumpling shop at 6 o'clock in the morning. It was inevitable that it'll disturb Su Xing Mei and Zhou Mei and I who are still sleeping on the second floor. That's why Su Xing Mei liked her grandparents' side. It didn't matter to Zhou Er and I. She went to bed early. After returning from evening classes at night, she sometimes would go to the apartment building with Hu Zi to watch TV for a while. But most of the time she asked Hu Zi to send her back to the dumpling shop early to rest. When Zhou Qing Bai came to open the door, start making the dough and work away, Zhou Er and I would get up and set up the bed. Then she came down to help her fourth uncle. When she was almost done with the work, she ate breakfast. Afterward, she went up to the second floor to study. Once it was time for work, she went to the clothing store to open the shop. Life was completely a routine. But have to say, after coming over this year, Zhou Ernie's aura had changed a lot. Using Zhou Gue Lai's words, she appeared similar to his mother. In fact, Zhou Er and I wasn't copying her fourth aunt, Lin Qing He. But rather, Lin Qing, he deliberately promoted this niece and taught her a lot. However, Lin Qing, he didn't show favoritism. Su Xing Mei and Hu Zi had also received her guidance. Zhou Er and I took in 80% and Hu Zi was 60%. As for Su Xing Mei, it wasn't even 20%. Her favorite thing was to watch TV. She had completed her work well. 
So Lin Qing, he didn't say anything. Can only say that each person's pursuits were different. After Zhou Er and I came here, not only did her aura change a lot, she also grew taller. She was almost 1.6 meters tall. Her skin had turned whiter. If she goes back to the village again, it will definitely surprise people. After eating, go study. Zhou Qingbai gave her a bowl of dumplings and said. N. Zhou Er and I nodded. After eating meat and cabbage dumplings, she went to the second floor to study. Zhou Qingbai can handle it all by himself. He was used to it and was very orderly. The dumpling shop's business was really stable now. It got a profit of more than 300 yuan a month. Even when Zhou Qingbai had done reselling with his wife, he would never look down on this income. On the contrary, he was very satisfied with the dumpling shop's income, which was about 10 yuan a day. Su Xingmei came over after eating at her grandparents' side. When she came over and saw her uncle was busy in the shop, she helped out with bringing the dumplings to the guests. She displayed some hesitation. Zhou Qingbai didn't even ask. When nieces have a matter, they can find their aunt. He wouldn't intervene even when he was their uncle. Uncle, I, I want to talk with you about something. Seeing her uncle, did not ask, Su Xingmei hesitantly uttered. Tell your aunt. Zhou Qingbai worked away without turning his head. He was in the middle of making dumplings. Because the dumplings here were really good value, they were all famous in this area. As long as one wanted dumplings, they will definitely think of here. Some people didn't come to the store to eat. They would come to buy raw ones and go back to cook them for themselves. Every day, Zhou Qingbai had to make a lot. If Aunt Ma was here, she would wash her hands and help with wrapping when there is no washing to do. The margin of a bowl of dumplings was so thin. To be able to make more than 300 profit in a month, raw dumplings was one of the reasons. Su Xingmei didn't expect that she would be blocked by her uncle before she said it. Uncle, I dare not talk about it with aunt. Su Xingmei pursed her lips. Only then, Zhou Qingbai looked at her, if you don't tell your aunt, it's pointless to even tell me about it. Your aunt manages the family affairs. Su Xingmei felt that she couldn't continue this conversation today. Uncle, can you be more courageous? Do you have to listen to aunt on everything? Uncle, I don't know if there is a shortage of people here. Can my brother be recruited? Su Xingmei directly blurted. Zhou Qingbai responded, go ask your aunt. Then, he continued to make his own dumplings. No other words were said. Although he didn't give any response to Su Xingmei, Zhou Qingbai told his wife about it when he saw her. Lin Qing, he stated, there is no shortage of people here. N. Zhou Qingbai nodded and said nothing else. Lin Qing, his eyes twinkled at him, what? Not going to say a few words? You call the shots. Zhou Qingbai said seriously. Lin Qing, he laughed and then stared at her own man, pay attention to whether there is any lamb. Buy some to nourish yourself. Not tired. I want more tonight. Zhou Qingbai looked at her and replied. Lin Qing, he gave him a light hammer, be serious. But really, she liked how her Qingbai treated her alone, so amorously it was snowing. Eating lamb was naturally excellent. It was very nourishing. Because Lin Qing, he wanted to eat lamb, Zhou Qingbai naturally kept an eye out. The marketplace he goes to was going to get lamb. It was still a few days away. Zhou Qingbai found another store, which was also excellent. As the old saying goes, pigs front, dogs behind, and the lamb's middle. T slash N? Lamb's best part was its lamb chops. Zhou Qingbai gained this knowledge from eating. He bought ten jeans of lamb. All lamb chops. Of course, he also bought mutton. He planned to add mutton dumplings to the dumpling shop's menu. Lin Qing, he had a fragrant mutton and radish soup on that day. It was especially delicious when served with the grilled one. Qing Bai. Qing Bai, you so good. 
I want to eat lamb and went to make it for me. Before Lin Qing, he's words, came out, the mischievous brat Zhou Gui Lao parroted and continued her words in imitation. Lin Qing, he got goosebumps and glared at him, are you eating or not? If not, put down the bowl and go to the house to wash your grandparents' feet. Zhou Qingbai blandly glanced at his son. Zhou Gui Lai immediately expressed that he'll zip it and then picked up the bowl to eat his meal. Lin Qing he harumphed and said to Zhou Qingbai, stroll around outside after eating? Okay. Zhou Qingbai nodded. Then, he ordered second and third, close at eight. All right. The college freshman, Zhou Xian, nodded his head. While Zhou Gui Lai spoke, are you going to the movies? Take me with you. Go by yourself if you want to go. Lin Qing, he waved her hand. After eating lamb ribs and drinking mutton soup, they ate grilled chops. Only then, Lin Qing, his whole body was warmed up. Zhou Qingbai was done eating too. The couple ignored the children and went out for a stroll. Such a cold snowy day. I admire them both. Zhou Gui Lai shook his head with a helpless expression. Chapter 351 Unfeeling today, Su Xing Mei was also present to eat lamb. She went to her grandparents' side after eating. In response to this, she said, It seems that uncle listens to aunt? It's not it seems. He does. Hu Zi continued. He didn't go to his uncle's house often before, but he had heard a little bit. When his mother returned, she would mention it occasionally. She said that uncle couldn't control aunt and let aunt spend money indiscriminately. Don't know how to live at all. Later, his mother's opinion changed, saying that uncle was really blessed to marry a woman like aunt. She took good care of him. He was almost the same as when he first retired. Neither thin nor weak at all. Later, it became uncle had accumulated blessing in the past life. To be able to marry a college student back. Then, later on, he came over here and saw it with his own eyes. Basically, it was his aunt who had the final say at home. But have to say it can't go wrong by listening to his aunt. Zhou Er and I didn't have much reaction. Fourth uncle always listened to fourth aunt. It had always been this case. She had long gotten used to it. Sister Xing Mei, if you are looking for someone in the future, then you have to look for one like my dad. Use him as a standard, understand? Zhou Gui Lai said. Uncle isn't in charge of the family, Su Xing Mei said. Then do you wish that your partner is in charge of your family in the future? And not you? Zhou Gui Lai looked at her in surprise. Su Xing Mei replied, Of course I'm in charge. Then that's enough. Zhou Gui Lai said. Zhou Xian didn't say anything. At this time, a customer came in. Zhou Xian went to cook dumplings. Su Xing Mei didn't go on anymore. When she finished eating, she left the dishes for Zhou Er and I to clean up. She went over to her grandparents' place. Today, Father Zhou and Mother Zhou, Zhou Xiao Mei, and Su De Lin's family were also eating lamb. Zhou Qingbai got Zhou Gui Lai to send a few jeans over. Stewed with radishes and eat with grilled mantu. Naturally, it was delicious, Xing Mei, have you eaten it yet? If not, join us. Mother Zhou said. I have eaten it. Su Xing Mei smiled. She went to watch TV. After a while, Father Zhou and Mother Zhou had finished their meal. Zhou Xiao Mei and the children were too. Su De Lin cleared up the plate. Eat less. Your stomach is full of fat. Zhou Xiao Mei gave him a look and said. It'll go to waste if not eaten. Su De Lin innocently replied. Zhou Xiao Mei amusedly barked out, then eat it. Really, why did she love this silly look? Su De Lin grinned and then ate the rest. Zhou Xiaomei saw that he liked it and said, let's not live so tightly. How about eating more lamb this year? Okay. Su De Lin nodded. This mutton was really delicious and nourishing. It was really wonderful to have more of it in such cold weather. 
Zhou Xiaomei left the bowls for him to clean up. When she walked over, she heard Su Xingmei talking to her grandparents, it seems uncle completely listened to aunt. Mother Zhou felt it was natural, your aunt is right. Of course, your uncle listens to her. Ain't that right? Whichever man marries a wife like fourth sister-in-law is bringing glory to the ancestors? How many years less do one have to struggle? Zhou Xiaomei listened and added. Su Xingmei choked and said, My uncle is also very capable. Fourth brother's greatest strength is by marrying such a wife in his life. Zhou Xiaomei stated. Aunt, why do you say it like uncle depends on a woman for food? Su Xingmei felt her heart was blocked and blurted. Mother Zhou didn't like to hear this, and said, Xingmei, what are you talking about? Your uncle is relying on his own. I, I know. It's just aunt, Xiaomei, was praising aunt like she is a fairy. As if uncle's everything was given by aunt. Su Xingmei responded. Mother Zhou replied, your aunt, Xiaomei, is right. If it wasn't for your aunt getting admitted to Bay University, would your uncle come here? If it weren't for daughter-in-law being so capable, youngest son would still be farming in the countryside now. This was the truth. No one can deny it. The household registration was transferred by the daughter-in-law. Which wasn't easy. She had heard from her neighbors. If her daughter-in-law hadn't a large capability, it would cost at least thousands of yuan to move her household registration. Two or three thousand may not necessarily be enough. Mother Zhou was shocked. At the same time, she embedded it in her mind. Especially when she visited Bay University at that time and passed by the classroom. She saw fourth daughter-in-law giving lectures to a group of college students in class. The impression was deeply imprinted in Mother Zhou even until now. She held a trace of admiration for this daughter-in-law which she herself wasn't conscious of. Su Xingmei felt her mouth was blocked to death, Dewa also got admitted to college. Dewa was admitted to college due to fourth sister-in-law's guidance and effort. Without a mother like fourth sister-in-law, do you think that the old Zhou family can produce college students? Yang Yang and Wu and I are struggling with their study. Even like this, they got fourth sister-in-law's guidance. If not, their grades will be worse. Zhou Xiaomei pointed out. That's right. Mother Zhou agreed. It was because of this daughter-in-law that her youngest son's three sons were all talented. When speaking of this, how much respect was gained? The two old ladies next door knew that her two grandsons attended Bay University and always envied her. Su Xingmei didn't say anything. However, Zhou Xiaomei didn't let her go. She looked at her and said, Xingmei, do you have any against your aunt, Qing He? No. No. Su Xingmei hurriedly answered, Aunt, why do you say that? Aunt said this naturally because aunt understands your aunt, Qing He. If you have any matter, say it directly to her. Don't talk about it behind her back. Zhou Xiaomei stared at her. Aunt, I really didn't. Su Xingmei's eyes reddened and said aggrievedly. It's fine if you didn't. Let's watch TV. Zhou Xiaomei waved her hand. The reason why Zhou Xiaomei can get along with Lin Qing, he was, because their temperament was somewhat similar. They weren't the kind to stuff it inside. Zhou Xiaomei didn't even bother to talk when seeing this niece's persistent denial. Don't worry about your aunt and your uncle's matter. If your uncle listens to your aunt, I will rest assured for the rest of my life. Mother Zhou stated. After having the chatter about complaints about unfilial daughters-in-law with the two old ladies next door, Mother Zhou felt that fourth daughter-in-law was faultless. Because of this, Su Xingmei couldn't focus on watching TV. Zhou Xiaomei murmured to Su De Lin when they went to sleep at night, this girl, Xingmei. WHTA is up with her? I felt there's something in her speech tonight. She is trying Sao Discord in the relationship between fourth sister-in-law and my mother. She, couldn't possibly? Su De Lin didn't have that much thought. Why do I feel that this girl is a bit like second sister-in-law? Unfeeling no matter how the relationship is nurtured. 
Zhou Xiaomei continued. Chapter 352 Pregnant? In Zhou Xiaomei's eyes, her second sister-in-law got a white-eyed wolf trait. But what happened tonight made Zhou Xiaomei feel uncomfortable. Her fourth sister-in-law was very kind to this niece. She brought her from her hometown and only had to watch the clothing store. The monthly salary was the same as Aunt Ma who washed the dishes, but food and accommodation were included. The likes of clothes, quilts, electric fans, etc. had all been paid. What was available was what she ate. It can be said that Zhou Xiaomei's life in the county wasn't as good as Su Xingmei's here. In addition, her fourth sister-in-law wanted to train them. Er and I and Hu Zi were sent to evening classes for further study and advancement. If Su Xingmei wanted to, she could go. All this got in return were Su Xingmei's these words, tonight? The more Zhou Xiaomei thought about it, the angrier she became. She felt that this niece, Su Xingmei, was a bit of a white-eyed wolf. Not remembering the good. Clueless to his wife's mental twist and turns, Su Dalin said, go, to, bed earlier. Let's sleep then. Zhou Xiaomei understood that he would have to get up early to open a shop tomorrow, and nodded. I want, want it. To her surprise, Su Dalin said. Zhou Xiaomei was taken aback. Then she gave him a light hammer. Su Dalin, who had mutton, smiled and flipped over. Zhou Xiaomei fell asleep soundly after being distracted like this. She didn't tell her fourth sister-in-law about this. This was to avoid adding trouble for her fourth sister-in-law. Lin Qing, he was in a good mood recently. The mutton soup stewed by Zhou Qingbai was really flavorful and tasty. What's more, he would separately cook a goji soup broth for her to have before going to bed. Eating like this, I will get fat. Lin Qing, he muttered. It's better to be plumper. You're too thin. Zhou Qingbai said. Lin Qing, he rolled her eyes. How was she too thin? She was just right like this. She could wear all kinds of clothes. Eat more. Zhou Qingbai had a twinkle in his eyes. Lin Qing, he only drank the soup. She didn't eat meat. Under Zhou Qingbai's urging, she nibbled a few, and Zhou Qingbai ate the rest. The couple went to brush their teeth after eating and then rested. Don't know if it was because winter was here or they had much mutton since Zhou Qingbai was always restless during the night. It won't stop until Lin Qing, he give it to him. Lin Qing, he basically left him in control. However, Lin Qing, he suddenly remembered one day. Her period was late by two days this month? Lin Qing, he froze. Zhou Qingbai asked, what's wrong? It's nothing. Lin Qing, he shook her head, but her mind couldn't help but wonder. Her menstruation was always punctual. After some counting, it actually hadn't come today? It was two days late. Thinking how active Zhou Qingbai was in this while. Basically, it was every day. Lin Qing, his heartbeat, slowed by a beat. How could possibly Zhou Qingbai know what his wife was thinking? He wanted to toss around again. Lin Qing, he quickly interjected, I'm tired tonight. Let's go to bed early. Zhou Qingbai glanced at her. Thinking that she was indeed tired these days, he said, then go to sleep. So he hugged his wife and went to sleep, contentedly. Lin Qing, he was a little worried. Was she pregnant? But it can't be. She did the ligation. Was it possible that she can still be pregnant? Lin Qing, he kept on thinking until 12 o'clock. As for Zhou Qing Bai, he already slept like a pig. Worry-free. Lin Qing, he couldn't help but squeezed his face. This baddie. He was clueless about the good thing he did and can still sleep so soundly. Wife. Zhou Qing Bai opened his eyes drowsily. Hold me to sleep. Lin Qing, he said. Zhou Qing Bai put her in his arms, and the couple slept together. Now the snow outside was a bit heavy. Still, it was warm inside. Lin Qing, he only had two classes, the next morning. 
After these two classes were over, Lin Qing, he quietly came to the hospital for examination. Menstruation, delayed for three days, does not necessarily mean pregnancy. Is there any discomfort in the body? The doctor asked. No. Lin Qing, he shook her head and couldn't help saying, it used to be very punctual. Counting today, this was the third day. There was still no feeling of it coming. Lin Qing, he was a little scared. How is your appetite these days? The doctor asked again. I have a very good appetite. Always eat a lot. What's more, I often get sleepy. Lin Qing, he mentioned. Not to mention the delayed menstruation, she had a good appetite and was sleepy. She can fall asleep on the table while preparing for class. It's very easy to get tired. Lin Qing, he continued on. She used to have four classes in the morning. It was all right. Today, she only had two classes, and she already felt tired. It's really possible that you are pregnant, the doctor said while looking at her. But I have been legated. Lin Qing, he couldn't help, but said. Her face showed her mixed feelings. She didn't know whether she was happy or unhappy. There are chances of one in 10,000 that the ligation failed. Some time ago, someone who was similar to you came over. Her man was legated, but she was still pregnant. Fortunately, the relationship between husband and wife is good, otherwise, there would be family conflicts. The doctor explained. But, but my youngest son is already 13 years old. 14 after the new year. I haven't been pregnant for so many years, so how come now? Lin Qing, he stammered. Have you eaten something good recently? In midst of writing a docket, the doctor spoke without looking up. Eat mutton for more than half a month. Lin Qing, he answered. Okay, let's have a checkup. The doctor said after completing the docket. Lin Qing, he went for an examination in a panic. Then came over with a report, with a relaxed look on her face, look, doctor, I'm not pregnant. She was still a little afraid of birthing children. She was now 35. If she was pregnant, she would be regarded as advanced maternal age, AMA. It was simply scary. You can't say that. The doctor read the document and said, it's also possible that the time is too short to be detected. Lin Qing, his expression froze. The doctor spoke, your symptoms are very consistent with early pregnancy. I suggest you come back for a checkup again in a week. Of course, if you have menstruation during this period, you don't need to come back. When Lin Qing, he came to the dumpling shop, she saw Zhou Qing by making mutton dumplings. She couldn't resist the urge to beat him. Zhou Qing Bai looked confusedly at his wife. Don't pretend with me. Lin Qing, he snorted. What's wrong? Zhou Qing Bai raised his eyebrows. Lin Qing, he ignored him. She turned around and went back home. Zhou Xian was writing a thesis at the desk on the second floor. Zhou Qing Bai yelled, Second, come down and work. I'm busy. Zhou Xian responded. Right now. Zhou Qingbai said. Zhou Xian came down first. Zhou Qingbai dumped his work to him and chased after his wife. Chapter 353 Think of a name Zhou Qingbai was also a little anxious. His wife was clearly in a bad mood today and he didn't know why. Lin Qing, he arrived home and saw him trailing after her. She uttered in surprise, why are you back? Second is there. Zhou Qingbai said. Lin Qing, he gave him a blank look before entering the house. Zhou Qingbai brewed her a cup of honey. Lin Qing, he was still a little dazed while drinking the honey water. Wife, what's up? Zhou Qingbai hesitated. Lin Qing, he glanced at him. She didn't want to tell him. It might turn into a misunderstanding. However, Lin Qing, he felt that the possibility of misunderstanding was relatively low. She couldn't torment herself. This baddie caused it, so he should let him know. Finally, she spoke, my period has been delayed for three days. 
it still hasn't come yet. Zhou Qingbai knew his wife's things timing accurately. But he had been a little bit wild during this period, so it was inevitable that he will not remember it. Now being reminded by his wife, he remembered. Seeing him appear dazed, Lin Qing, he knew that he had misunderstood. She didn't have the mood swing she gets during her period and said, I went to the hospital for an examination. What did the doctor say? Zhou Qingbai hurriedly asked. His wife's thing had always been on time. Rarely missed. Even if there was, it was a day or two. Never three days. There was nothing wrong according to the report, but the doctor said. Lin Qing, he pursed her lips. What did they say? Zhou Qingbai couldn't help being a little worried. Lin Qing, he hammered him, look what good things you did. Zhou Qingbai didn't understand at first. When he saw his wife behave like this, he was shocked. His face displayed incredulous. He stared at his wife in a daze. His hands trembled, wife, what, what did the doctor say? Lin Qing, he gave him an eye roll and said, don't be so excited. The report says I am not pregnant. Zhou Qingbai deflated like a leaking balloon. Lin Qing, he couldn't help it. She pinched his face and said, you conscienceless man. I'm 35 years old and you still expect me to be pregnant? Aren't you worried about me being too old and it being risky? You are not old. You are young. Zhou Qingbai comforted. Lin Qing, he was satisfied now. Seeing that his face couldn't hide his disappointment, she turned away, the doctor said, although the report said that I'm not pregnant, but it does not necessarily mean I'm not pregnant. Zhou Qingbai froze and stared at his wife. It's also possible that the time is too short to be checked out. But it's very likely that I am pregnant. Lin Qing, he agreedly stated. She also had that feeling. She became sleepy and tired easily. And her appetite was particularly good. It wasn't like this before. The dimming glow on Zhou Qingbai's face brightened and flared up again. After all, he was really diligent during this time and his wife let him indulge. With the exception of last night, he really hadn't missed for a single day. Zhou Qingbai's eyes were full of smiles and joy. He felt like his whole body didn't wear to put his hands and feet. Qing Bai, if I am pregnant, what do we do? Lin Qing, he worried. Zhou Qing Bai immediately comforted her, don't be afraid. With our current conditions, there's nothing to worry about. Lin Qing, he aggrievedly looked at him, do you really want me to have a baby? She was this old. Not young anymore. If she was in the countryside, she was at age of holding her grandchildren. Zhou Qingbai hurriedly soothed, if you are, then give birth. This is our fate with this child. Lin Qing, he felt aggrieved to death. At this age, she still had to go for a fourth child. Was there any more unlucky than her? There will be family planning next year. Lin Qing, he continued. Perfect, our child will be here next year. It'll be in time. After giving birthing, we're done. Zhou Qingbai responded. He had asked his wife about it. It was at the end of next year. The child will be born around the mid-autumn festival next year. A calm person like Zhou Qingbai was very excited. Wife, go and lie down on the bed. Is there anywhere uncomfortable? I'll rub it for you. Why don't you ask other teachers to substitute the lessons? Zhou Qingbai said. Lin Qing, he had the anger, but not the energy, and replied, forget it. I don't know if I am pregnant or not. Don't talk about it outside and cause a joke. You must be pregnant. Zhou Qingbai declared firmly, you have a very good appetite these past few days. Lin Qing, he swept a glance at him. Zhou Qingbai said, okay, let's not tell anyone about it yet. Though he said that, but as long as it was a discerning person, they can tell that he was so floating in happiness. Especially when Lin Qinghe's period still didn't come the next day. It hadn't arrived for the fourth day. Lin Qing, he was already in despair. Second, support your mother to go to school. 
The ground is icy. Keep a good eye out. Zhou Qingbai instructed Zhou Xian. Zhou Xian nodded and agreed. Zhou Gui like came up and asked, Dad, what's wrong with you? Why do I see you grinning nonstop since yesterday until now? Zhou Qingbai was in a good mood and didn't mind. He said, You also support your mother there. Then head to your school. Becoming an old Buddha now. Zhou Gui Lai muttered in surprise. Second brother was enough. Why include him? Don't listen to your dad's madness. Quickly go to school. Lin Qing, he waved her hand. Then she went to class by herself. Zhou Xian didn't support. But he did keep watch. After arriving at Bay University, he asked, Mom, are you feeling unwell anywhere? Do you want to ask for a leave? The winter vacation is almost here, so why ask for a leave? Lin Qing, he waved her hand. It was December. There were about 20 days until the holiday break. This year's holiday was relatively long. From the 20th of December until the Lantern Festival, 15th of Lunar January. Lin Qing, he went to class. During the lecture, she was hoping for her period to come. But it was a pity. Whether it was morning or afternoon, it still didn't come. One can guess Lin Qing he's mood. When she came back and saw Zhou Qing Bai, he wasn't acting like his usual self. It wasn't pleasing to her eyes. Be wife, have some white fungus and red date soup. Zhou Qing Bai brought a bowl of white fungus and red date soup over. Lin Qing, he just happened to be a little thirsty, so she harumphed and reluctantly had it. After finishing, her anger was suppressed. Then she sighed. Qing Bai, think of a name. Lin Qing, he said, while looking at Zhou Qing Bai. Counting today, this was already the fourth day. Never happened before. And combined with her symptoms, Lin Qing, he basically concluded that she was really pregnant. Zhou Qing Bai's eyes were full of delight, I will go back to look up the dictionary at night and make a good one. After returning home in the evening, Zhou Qingbai flipped through the dictionary in the room. If it's a son, it's Zhou Huaiwen. If it's a girl, it's Zhou Bao Bao. Lin Qing He. Chapter 354. Close business, when dreaming at night, Zhou Qingbai was in cloud nine as he held his precious baby girl. But he was destined to be disappointed. Lin Qing He, who was asleep, woke up suddenly in the middle of the night. That familiar feeling. But she didn't need to get out of bed. She was prepared. Zhou Qingbai was awakened by her movement. He hurriedly said, What's wrong? Feeling unwell? Lin Qing, he took in how nervous this man appeared. Thinking of how happy he was in these two days, Lin Qing, he pursed her lips. She couldn't bear to tell him and decided to let him sleep well. It's nothing. Just thirsty. Lin Qing, he replied. Zhou Qingbai got up, went out, and brought in a glass of warm water. Lin Qing, he drank it, then lay down and continued to sleep. Zhou Qingbai was nervous. Seeing that she was asleep with a smile on her face, he was sure that there was nothing wrong, so he pulled the quilt in place and drowsed off. Early the next morning, Zhou Qingbai had already gone to the dumpling shop. Zhou Gui Lai brought over a delicious breakfast. Mom, are you feeling unwell anywhere? Zhou Gui Lai asked. Lin Qing, he's feeling was in a knot. This time, her period really tormented people. But fortunately, their sons didn't know. Otherwise, this mix-up would really lose their face. Nowhere. Lin Qing, he replied, have you ever eaten? I have. Zhou Gui Lai nodded. He was relieved after making sure his mother's complexion was indeed okay. Then he was confused. Why did his father treat his mother like ceramics these past two days? Lin Qing, he asked, while eating, how is your father's mood today? My dad is in a good mood today. Like he picked up some treasure. Zhou Gui Lai answered and then looked at his mother, Mom, tell me the truth. From what I see, my dad is in a high spirit these past few days. Simply like he can fly. 
I have never seen him so happy before. Lin Ching, he sighed. What can she say? After finishing, she got third to clean up the dishes and go to the dumpling shop. She went to class. Along the way, she began to think, what can she do to make her Ching Bai happy? In the past two days, she thought she was pregnant. There was no shortage of her acting up. One time she was like this, another she was like that. She showed him attitude. But he didn't express any complaint at all. Not only did he have no complaints, but on the contrary, he coaxed her and treated her as an ancestor. At this moment, she was feeling guilty. Especially guilty. But she couldn't figure it out. What was going on? It was fine before, but this time it was delayed for four days. On top of that, he was so diligent before, and she had those symptoms. She naturally thought like that. After all, she hadn't truly been pregnant or given birth, despite having three grown sons. So what experience could she have? It was a bit like saying that it was windy when it was rain. After the morning lectures, she didn't dare to face her Ching Bai. She headed straight to the apartment building. Zhou Ching Bai left the shop to his second son to manage and he returned with a rib and lotus kanji. Lin Qing, he felt even more guilty when she saw her Qing Bai like this. Zhou Qing Bai said, What's wrong? Quickly eat. It'll get cold in a bit. Qing Bai. Lin Qing, he stared at him. Zhou Qing Bai looked back at her and uttered, Huh? Lin Qing, he gave him a glance before bowing her head to eat. After eating, Zhou Qing Bai cleaned up the dishes and said, Do you still have classes in the afternoon? There are two classes. Lin Qing, he said. Then I will pick you up. No need. I head over there after class. Lin Qingha shook her head. Zhou Qing Bai responded, Then you go rest first. Lin Qing, he was indeed a little tired when she arrived here. She really got tired easily. So she went to nap first. But there was no way to conceal such things. And Lin Qing, he didn't intend to hide it. So in the evening, when the couple went into the room after dinner, Lin Qing, he confessed after closing the door. Qing Bai, that, that came. When Lin Qing, he said this, she lowered his head like a kindergarten kid who had made a mistake. Completely afraid to look at her Qing Bai. Zhou Qing Bai paused, what came? That. Lin Qing, he pursed her lips. Looking at him, she stated, I'm not pregnant. It came last night. Zhou Qing Bai was completely stunned. Lin Qing, he quickly explained, Qing Bai, I didn't do it on purpose. You know that I'm inexperienced, so with my previous symptoms. I misunderstood. Don't be mad. Toward the end, she can barely hear her quiet voice. She got a guilty conscience. Lin Qing, he had never been so guilty in her life. Zhou Qing Bai saw his wife like this and responded, not pregnant, then not pregnant. Lin Qing, he peeked at him. She hurriedly went out and brewed him a cup of honey water. Zhou Qing Bai glanced at his wife. He took it and drank it. Wife, I'm not sad. Zhou Qing Bai said calmly. He didn't sleep all night. The next day, he didn't start his business, the next day. He wrote a piece of paper and stuck it on the door, closed for a day. My dad wants to rest? Zhou Xian and Zhou Gui Lai were both taken aback. Not only them, but also Hu Zi and Zhou Er and I. Go about your business. Lin Qing, he waved her hand. She knew that this big misunderstanding was made too much damage to her Qing Bai. He longed for it. He hadn't wished it for many years was unable to get it. He finally had hope but didn't expect it to be an empty basket. How can he not be disappointed and lost? The news that Zhou Qing Bai had stopped business for one day was informed to Father Zhou and Mother Zhou by Su Xing Mei. Your uncle didn't open the door all day? Mother Zhou asked in surprise. N. I don't know what happened. My uncle was very happy two days ago. I could see him smiling. 
I don't know what's going on today. He stayed at the apartment building all day. Su Sheng Mei answered. Did he quarrel with your aunt? Mother Zhou wondered. What quarrel? Don't blindly get involved. Father Zhou snapped at her. I'm not. But to not even open the shop. How can this do? Mother Zhou said. Su De Lin and Zhou Xiaomei came back from outside. It was only six o'clock at this time. They closed early today. Xing Mei, you got off work so early? Zhou Xiaomei asked. N. It's snowing heavily today, so the store closed early. Su Xing Mei nodded. Xiaomei, have you seen your fourth sister in law? Mother Zhou hurriedly asked. No. What happened to fourth sister in law? Zhou Xiaomei asked after removing her scarf. Your fourth sister in law and your fourth brother seem to be quarreling. Today, your fourth brother didn't open the shop for a day. Mother Zhou said. Zhou Xiaomei was shocked and turned to Su Xing Mei, Your uncle didn't open the shop today? N. Su Xing Mei nodded. It's still early now. Go and have a look. Mother Zhou said. Okay. But mother, don't worry. It's impossible for my fourth brother and my fourth sister-in-law to quarrel. Zhou Xiaomei responded and put her scarf on again. Su De Lin followed. The couple came over to the apartment building. Chapter 355 Lei Golden Egg Lin Qing, he and Zhou Qing Bai nestled on the sofa as they watched TV. They happened to buy a pack of chestnuts from outside. So she peeled them for her family's Qing Bai to eat while they were at it. As for the children, they were sent out by Lin Qing He. Don't come back and disturb them before nine o'clock. This chestnut is a good thing for nourishing the kidney and spleen. Eat more and get nourishment. Once it's gone, let's work hard. Also, eat more mutton and beef. There will definitely be a chance. She peeled the chestnut and fed it to him. Zhou Qingbai ate the chestnuts. Watching TV, he said, you don't want to give birth. Who said I don't want to give birth? Lin Qing, he replied immediately. Then she turned his face from the TV and looked at him and said, don't know how much I love you. Zhou Qingbai still liked to hear these words, but he didn't say anything. He turned his face to continue watching TV. Qingbai, don't be angry. I didn't expect this. Speaking of it, I'm disappointed. I'm already preparing to be a mother and for the high-risk pregnancy. Lin Qing, he said. I felt you are quite pleased. Zhou Qingbai pointed out. How could I? I'm quite disappointed. Really, when I mistakenly thought I was pregnant, I somewhat couldn't accept it. But because it was our child, I tried to adapt. Lin Qing, he responded. Zhou Qingbai's expression eased. Lin Qing, he continued to speak nicely and to coax. By the time it was almost eight o'clock, Zhou Qingbai's expression had already improved a lot. The atmosphere around the couple was just right when Zhou Xiaomei knocked on the door. Lin Qing, he went out to open the door. When she saw both of them at the door, she said, come in the house. What's the matter? It's still snowing, why are you coming here? The room was warm. Zhou Xiaomei and Su De Lin were relieved when they came in. It was really cold outside today. Winter in the capital was much colder than in their hometown. Xing Mei's fourth brother didn't open the shop today. My parents were worried. We just closed the shop and heard it when we got home. So we came over and have a look. Zhou Xiaomei said. Lin Qing, he poured two cups of warm water for the two of them and said, it's not a big matter. No need to come here specifically for this. Have chestnuts. Zhou Qingbai said to Su De Lin. Okay. Su De Lin nodded with a smile. Fourth brother, what's happened to you? Are you feeling well? Zhou Xiaomei looked at her fourth brother and spoke. N. Zhou Qingbai responded. If you feel uncomfortable, you need to rest more. Zhou Xiaomei said. 
she was saying, with the way her fourth brother was, how could he possibly not open the shop? It gotta be an illness. He did appear a little sick and unenergetic. Go back and tell our parents to not worry. Zhou Qingbai said. All right. Zhou Xiaoming nodded. It's really cold today. Is it warm enough on your side? Lin Qing, he asked. We won't freeze. Zhou Xiaomei answered. She and Su De Lin brought two big quilts over by themselves. However, this wasn't enough. After they came here, they ordered two big quilts. Only then, it was warm. Because her fourth brother didn't have any problems, Zhou Xiaomei wasn't concerned anymore. She told her fourth sister-in-law about making another mutton soup at their side. In winter it was mutton soup. Once spring, it'll be replaced with soy milk. Don't know if Delin's idea will work out? Zhou Xiaomei finished. It definitely will. Business will be good. Looking at Su Delin, Lin Qing, he said, Brother-in-law, you don't have to hesitate. Do whatever you want. Anyway, you got the bun shop as the pillar. It won't do badly. N. Su Delin nodded. Lin Qing, he peeled the chestnuts for Zhou Qing Bai, and said, Have you two visited the landlord? We have. But from the look of it, she didn't plan to sell it. Zhou Xiaomei pursed her lips. Have to say, they didn't care about that shop very much before. But now, Zhou Xiaomei really wanted to buy it. The business was really good and stable. Now that they were completely familiar with it, it was indeed a bad idea to change places. But after visiting, they knew the landlord really had no intention to sell it. Not planning to sell now doesn't mean not wanting to sell in the future. You should save first, but you have to be mentally prepared. You should buy your own store. Otherwise, when the landlord sees your business is doing well, the rent will increase to drive you out so they can do it themselves. This is a normal occurrence. Lin Qing, he said. Fourth sister-in-law, do you plan to buy yours? Zhou Xiaomei asked. We bought it. Lin Qing, he raised an eyebrow. Bought it? When did you buy it? Zhou Xiaomei was taken aback. Su De Lin also looked Lin Qing He and Zhou Qing Bai in surprise. Lin Qing, he smiled, it was bought a week ago. It is your fourth brother's dumpling shop. You bought it for a week and I haven't heard fourth sister-in-law mention it before. Zhou Xiaomei said. Aren't I telling you to now? Lin Qing, he said with a smile, but don't say anything to our parents' side yet. Okay. Zhou Xiaomei promised. Then she hurriedly continued, fourth sister-in-law, how much did the dumpling shop cost? 4,000 yuan. Lin Qing, he told her. About the shop, only old Wang and eldest son knew. Neither of them would talk about it, so it was no problem. As for the price, it was to psychologically prepare Zhou Xiaomei. At that time, her shop wouldn't be so cheap, even it wasn't a duplex. So expensive? Zhou Xiaomei gasped. Su De Lin frowned. Zhou Qingbai had mentioned it before, but it was just a guess. After all, it was only seven or eight hundred for the ones in his hometown. Sometimes it was nine or ten hundred. But the shops here in the capital were actually that expensive? Try saving money to buy it. You won't regret it in the future. Lin Qing, he advised. But it's too expensive. What's more, our landlord may not necessarily want to sell it. Zhou Xiaomei responded. You can increase the price a bit. If she still won't budge, then drop it. Find another place nearby. Lin Qing, he said. When Zhou Xiaomei and Su De Lin went back, they were thinking about this. First, they told Father Zhou and Mother Zhou why the dumpling shop didn't open. Then, the couple went to wash and prepare to go to bed. Shall we buy one next year? Zhou Xiaomei whispered when the children were all asleep. Too, too expensive. Su De Lin hesitated. It was indeed expensive. A shop cost 4,000 yuan. How much money was this? 
so far, all the belongings in his family were about this number. How long had he accumulated? Almost from Delin, starting to work until now. More than ten years of savings. It's expensive, but fourth sister-in-law bought the dumpling shop. And business is great. If this shop belongs to us, we won't have to worry about it in the future. Just like a hen laying golden eggs. Zhou Xiaomei said. I, I will, consider some, more. Su Dalin said. Zhou Xiaomei nodded and didn't say anything. Such an important matter required more pondering. However, Zhou Xiaomei felt that it wouldn't be wrong to follow her fourth sister-in-law. The shop would be their own, so it would be safe to do a business. Chapter 356 Content Zhou Qingbai took one day off. The next day, he opened the shop. He felt disappointed when thinking of this misunderstanding, but what else could he do? Life had to move on. But he also secretly decided to eat more good stuff in the future and strive to create a miracle in his wife's belly. Ever since then, Lin Qing, he noticed her Qing Bai paid great attention to his wellness. He even sought an old traditional Chinese doctor to prescribe a few medicinal bundles, which were for nourishment. So after Lin Qing, his aunt left for three days, she experienced the might of her Qing Bai's nourishing diet. Her heart was simply close to crying. No do, no die. Since she did, she had to make up for it even she kneeled down. When it was La Ba festival, Zhou Qing Bai made a big pot of La Ba Kanji. The family gathered around to eat La Ba Kanji in the morning. On this snowy day, the business really suffered a lot. It was the same Lin Qing he's clothing store. Business was a little bleak. So Lin Qing, he asked Zhou Er and I, Hu Zi, and Su Xing Mei, do you three want to go back? If you want to go back, I will give you a holiday starting on the 20th. Come back next year after the Lantern Festival. I won't go back. Zhou Er and I shook her head. I don't want to either. I have to attend classes. Huzi also said. He and Zhou Er and I still got classes. Although the evening school will be closed on the 15th, Huzi still didn't want to go back. He wanted to stay and see what New Year was like in the capital. But, but I want to go back. Su Xing Mei was taken aback and hesitated. You want to go back? We don't have time to accompany you. Do you know how to travel back by yourself? Hu Zi looked at her. If Xing Mei wants to go back, Hu Zi, go with her. Lin Qing, he waved her hand. Hu Zi sighed, I really don't want to go back. You're not going back, so you're going to let Xing Mei go back alone? Lin Qing, he scolded him. Don't you know to have a tender heart for the fair sex? How will you get a wife in the future? I'm still a child and you talk about this with me, aunt. Huzi grinned. Still a child. Would you believe that your mother will start finding a match for you this new year if you hadn't come here? If it goes well, maybe this time next year, you will be a married man. Lin Qing, he stated. Hu Zi believed it because when he was 16, his mother had already started talking about it. But he didn't expect that the plan couldn't keep up with the changes. When he came to the capital, it would naturally go down the drain. All right. I will go back this year, but let me say it first. If I go back this year, I won't go back next year. I don't know what New Year is like in the capital. Hu Zi said. This statement was similar to what Zhou Kai said before. Then properly bring Xing Mei back and there is no problem. Lin Qing, he responded. In fact, it wasn't too difficult. After all, even a little girl like Zhou Lu and I can find her way by herself, let alone those who had been here for almost a year. Because she decided to give Hu Zi and Su Xing Mei a holiday, Lin Qing, he went to notify the young boss, Wang Yuan. After the current last batch gets completed, the rest didn't need to be made. At the same time, her small workshop was also going to get a holiday. Paid vacations weren't popular nowadays. She planned to let them work until the 15th day of December and then give everyone a vacation. They were going to be off until the 15th of January. No more, no less. 
exactly one month holiday. When the Lantern Festival is over, they will continue to work at the small workshop. Lin Ching, he came over to the small workshop to announce this today. Have a holiday so soon? Old Madam Sue was a little bit reluctant. If they get a holiday, then there will be no salary and nothing to do for a month. How much better it was to continue making clothes over here. There was a coal-burning stove in the small workshop, so it was warm. The working environment was so wonderful that they were a little bit reluctant to go back. It's just a holiday. It's the same to continue next year, Lin Ching he said. That was how the matter was settled. Once it was the 15th day of December, it was the last day before the holiday start. Lin Ching, his clothing store welcomed its New Year promotion. On this cold weather, a large notice was hung up. 20% off sale. Large stock clearance. From 15th to December 18th. Business was blazing for three consecutive days. Zhou Erani and Su Xing Mei's shop was basically cleared out. Su Xing Mei went directly to her grandparents' place and be lazy. Zhou Er and I came over to Hu Zi and Ma Ching Min's side to help out. Because Lin Qing, he had ordered a batch of goods with Wang Yuan later on, there were still some left here. When the last few dozens or so items were left in stock, Lin Qing, he asked Zhou Xiao Mei if she wanted them when they were at the bathhouse. I want. These days, I've been bored to death. Zhou Xiao Mei said unreservedly. Su De Lin can still handle the business at the bun shop. After all, it was very cold. The business was relatively bleak. He can completely manage by himself. So these few dozens were given to Zhou Xiaomei. The workers under Lin Qing, he had completely gone on holiday. Zhou Xiaomei got the capability. She sold all her clothes in two days. She was overjoyed as she made a small sum before the new year. When she brought the money to her fourth sister-in-law, she said, Next spring, I will still get clothes from fourth sister-in-law to sell on the street. As long as you can handle it. Lin Qing, he accepted the money without objection. With father and mother here, how can not be free? Zhou Xiaomei grinned. She lived with her parent. The two older ones have gone to school. Father Zhou will pick them up every day. As for the two younger ones, either Mother Zhou mind them, or she will. If not, they will go to the bun shop and be with Su Div Lin. No trouble at all. It can be said that having Father Zhou and Mother Zhou, Su Di Lin and Zhou Xiaomei had it much easier. Otherwise, Zhou Xiaomei can't do anything. The kids were still young. She can't free her hands to do anything. Mother always said she felt embarrassed. She came over here and haven't been able to help fourth brother and fourth sister-in-law. Zhou Xiaomei said. Lin Qing, he mentally said she was thankful that her mother-in-law didn't to make trouble. She really didn't expect any help. On the surface, she said, no need. Dewa and his brothers are already this big. When they were younger, they often made their grandmother worry about them. Also, Qing Bai and I brought them here to enjoy life. No need to worry. As for the old couple being willing to help with their youngest son-in-law and youngest daughter, there was nothing to criticize. It was human nature. Lin Qing, his words reached Mother Zhou's ears. Mother Zhou was very relieved. Zhou Xiaomei envied, if I can have a daughter-in-law like my fourth sister-in-law in the future, then I will be blessed. How old is Qing Qing? He will have to go to university in the future. What's more, look at your age. Already thinking about daughter-in-law. Not a sense of propriety. Mother Zhou amusedly told off, but her face was completely painted with content. Chapter 357 Luxury When Mother Zhou went to bed at night, she chattered with Father Zhou. Next door's old Zhu's daughter-in-law is really a bit outrageous. Old Madame Zhu and her husband are already at this age and she didn't care about them. Mother Zhou said, there is also old Hu family. They gave birth to four sisters. They only got one son and he married a wife that wasn't filial to Hu old couple. 
How could Father Zhou not know what his wife meant, so he satisfied her itch, not everyone can have a life like you. Mother Zhou broke into a grin, why do you say that? Obviously waiting for her spouse, to praise her. Father Zhou knew his wife well, so he said, we have worked hard for a lifetime. Despite how hard it was before, we all overcame it. From now on, let's live a good life here. Let alone those in our hometown, even the local elderlies, may not have a life better than us. Speaking of which, I kind of want to go back with Xing Mei and Hu Zi. Mother Zhou merrily stated. Why go back? Naturally, to wear new stuff from top to toe, from the inside to the outside. If she went back like this, how much face would she gain? It'll make all the villages young and old madams envy to death, why don't you go back? Hu Zi and Xing Mei are going to catch the ride tomorrow. Father Zhou responded. The journey is too much. Mother Zhou shook her head. The journey to the capital made a deep impression on her. It was a toil on her. She couldn't stand up at all. So even if I want to go back, he flinches, but when he thinks of the road along the way, he shrinks. It's okay if you don't go back. Erwa said that during the new year, we will take pictures together. When the times come, take few more pictures. Father Zhou said. All right. Mother Zhou was delighted and then said, Dewa's mother is working hard over there. It's a cold day and she has to go to class. Ching Bai will take more care. It's enough that we aren't making trouble. Let's sleep. Father Zhou said. Mother Zhou didn't say anything, nodded, and went to bed. At this moment, Lin Qing, He, and Zhou Ching Bai hadn't fallen asleep yet. Hu Zi and Su Xingmi were going back. She prepared some stuff for them. It was the usual. One roast duck per family. Also, two packets of candies. First sister, second sister, as well as the three brothers from the old Zhou family, and third brother Lin, from her side, all got a share. They can get Zhou Yang, to send it over. There was no major problem. There wasn't a lot of possession, because the clothes can be worn directly on the body. Although it was a bit heavy, it kept the cold out. Carry two more bags and these things, and they'll go back. Everything was packed. Zhou Xian, who was on vacation, was ordered to send them off the next day. Lin Qing, he hadn't woken up yet. She was also on winter vacation. It was a rare chance to sleep in, so why not? On the day the two went back, Lin Qing, he started gathering the New Year's food. After getting second and third to join her, the mother and sons went shopping. I wonder if your eldest brother will come back this year. Lin Qing, he couldn't help but say, when buying dried golden pomfret, this golden pomfret is your eldest brother's favorite. Zhou Guilai said, Mom, we like to eat it too. Don't you have it all year round? Lin Qing, he disgruntled, responded. My eldest brother is just going to the military school. Not becoming an ascetic monk. It's not as bad as you said it is, Mom. I heard that the food there is excellent. Zhou Guilai said. Zhou Xian comforted, Don't worry, Mom. The food is excellent. After all, they have to train every day. The physical energy consumption was huge. The food will naturally be great. However, in such a place, they will just gobble it all up, no matter whether the food was good or not. Lin Qingha bought ten dried golden pomfret. Then she brought them over to buy eggs. Now the private sector had started, there were chickens and eggs being sold. Everything was easily available. After entering December, Lin Qing, he had made some homemade bacon and hung it. Zhou Qingbai had frozen pork and lamb chops over at his side. Like a lot. So not a lot needed to be bought. Lin Qing, he and her two sons, carried three chickens, a basket of eggs, and more than ten one jean dried fish over to the dumpling shop. Zhou Qingbai was in the middle of making dumplings and said, these are enough for the new year. I don't know if eldest will come back. Got to get two more chickens. Lin Qing, he said. 
When mom went to the market, all she thinks of is eldest brother when she sees something. Zhou Gui Lai mentioned, Dad, I think we are going to fall out of favor. You are the only one who fell out of favor. Zhou Xian said with a smile. Zhou Gui Lai replied, Why do you say that? I am the youngest in our family. After the new year, you're 14. There is no preferential treatment. Zhou Xian waved his hand. The family chattered and laughed. They were especially content. Lin Qing, he was content too. Quietly, she raised her three sons so well, right? Take your grandparents around this year. Take a few more photos when that time comes. Lin Qing, he said. Grandfather and grandmother even told me to take them to the Great Wall next year. Can we go? Zhou Gui Lai asked. Yes. Let's see if we are free at that time, if we are, let's go together. Lin Qing, he nodded. Mom, the camera you promised me hasn't appeared yet. If we bought it earlier, we can use it this year. Zhou Gui Lai spoke. He was currently longing for a camera. Next year. Lin Qing, he waved her hand. Zhou Qing Bai brought, I saw in the newspaper that there are refrigerators imported from Russia. Costing more than 700 yuan. Lin Qing, he was surprised, it's available? Yes. Zhou Qing Bai nodded. He often read the newspaper, so he knew, it's not very expensive. Lin Qing, he understood what he meant, and said, then let's take a look next year. If there is one, buy one? I wonder if there is a washing machine. If there is, let's buy one. Zhou Qing Bai nodded. All right. Lin Qing, he nodded in response. Want to buy so many things? Does our family have enough money? Zhou Gui Lai's expression immediately teared up. He felt that his camera might be pushed back again. This was a refrigerator and a washing machine. How much would they cost? These were all luxury items. Enough, Lin Qing, he responded casually. If it's not enough, then forget about my camera. Buy a refrigerator and washing machine. Although Zhou Gui Lai was reluctant, he still endured the pain and said. Refrigerators need to be used to store meat in summer. The dumpling shop required a refrigerator. If not, it'll be very inconvenient. And the washing machine. Needed to wash clothes, especially in summer. One has to use it every day. However, the camera was optional. Seeing how filial you are, I'll get your dad to work hard to earn money next year and try to buy one for you, Lin Qing has said. Then wait until you make money next year. Zhou Gui Lai said. Chapter 358 Eldest is back Zhou Kai returned on the 23th December. He returned early in the morning. Lin Qing, he was still asleep at that time. When she woke up, she saw him on the sofa watching TV in the living room. Lin Qing, he froze for a moment before uttering, Eldest? She wasn't sure if it was because she missed her eldest son too much that she had hallucinations. Mom. Zhou Kai raised his brows and greeted. N. He had certainly come back. She wasn't dreaming. Lin Qing, he walked over to look at her eldest son and said, Why did you become so tanned? Zhou Kai's skin was indeed darker. The shade was a few degrees darker. Even during winter, his tan hadn't receded. Still as dark as autumn. But have to say, his whole person appeared extraordinarily energetic. Training. Zhou Kai responded concisely. Lin Qing, he understood and asked, Have you had breakfast? Your dad knows you are back? I went to the dumpling shop before returning. Zhou Kai nodded and continued, waiting for mom to wait and see me before I head to my grandparents' place. Then go. I'll stew a pig's stomach in chicken for you for lunch. Lin Qing, he said. Zhou Kai grinned. He had heard from his brother at the dumpling shop, saying that his mother mentioned him every day in the past few days. Now he was back, she was going to treat him like a treasure. Zhou Kai went to his grandparents' side. 
Lin Ching, he came to the dumpling shop to have breakfast after freshening up. Then she began to prepare the pig's stomach in chicken. Aunt Ma Jolly said, Young Kai appeared sturdier now. He does. But also, dark as black charcoal. How will he get a wife from now on? Lin Ching, he smiling spoke. Although she said it like that, her son was flawless in her heart. And if anyone else dares to express disdain, they can try? Aunt Ma uttered, you can worry about the rest, but not him unable to get a wife. With the way young Kai is, there's no worry. There are many girls with good eyes who want to marry him. Lin Ching, he beamed. Then she started to nimbly handle the pig's stomach and chicken. How are you going to cook this? Aunt Ma didn't understand. The pig's stomach is stuffed on the chicken and then it's stewed. It is delicious and nourishes the stomach. Auntie, you can stew this for uncle and the rest occasionally. Lin Ching, he replied. Seeing her son's healthy body, Lin Ching, he naturally knew that the food wouldn't be bad. Even if it was like this, Lin Ching, he wanted to cook up some good stuff for him. It wasn't just pig's stomach and chicken. Lin Ching, he had gone out to get a pig's head. Lunch was set, so this was reserved for the evening. Eldest liked to eat braised pork head meat. Now he was back, she got to make it, right? Zhou Gui like came to check. He was filled with envy, eldest brother is lucky. He is family's favorite. If you are away from home for so long and then come back, we and mom will favor you too. Zhou Xian smiled. Zhou Er and I was helping her fourth aunt. She pursed her lips in mirth, now De Wa is back, grandfather and grandmother must be overjoyed over there. Of course, father Zhou and mother Zhou were overjoyed. Their eldest grandson came back, they were simply over the moon. Although there were so many grandchildren, Zhou Kai was the veritable eldest grandson. He truly had father Zhou and mother's love. So even when the original owner acted up a lot in the past, she got confidence as she got this grandson. When eldest grandson came back, mother Zhou's eyes reddened. It must be hard. When your father went to serve as a soldier, grandmother also thought it was tough. Now you are going. Grandmother can't bear it. Mother Zhou said while latching onto her grandson. Although Father Zhou was also delighted, he would definitely not hinder his grandson's progress. He disgruntedly uttered, that's enough. What? Can't I say a few words? Mother Zhou shot a glare. Zhou Kai smiled, Grandmother, the academy isn't as hard as you think it is. I had applied to increase the difficulty with the higher management. It was indeed the application for increased difficulty. This was completely based on the standards of the special troops. He was fully adapted to it. There was a feeling of enjoyment in it. He liked this kind of training. So much so that he was called special training fanatic by his dorm mates. Increase the difficulty? If you can complete it, it's great. Is the increased difficulty really tough? Mother Zhou asked. It's all right. Zhou Kai couldn't withstand his grandmother's question and changed the topic, how is the youngest uncle and aunt's bun shop doing? Business is very good. Your grandfather and I help out with minding Ching Ching and the others. So they can handle it. Mother Zhou replied. That's fine. Put in the effort here and it won't do badly in the future. Zhou Kai nodded. Mother Zhou smiled and said, your aunt was a little worried before. But now she's not. She is very happy. Your mother also takes care of her. From time to time, she let her take clothes and sell them on the street. Your aunt had made a lot of money. Zhou Kai smiled. Have lunch here? Mother Zhou continued. Not here. Grandfather, grandmother you can eat as normal. My mother said she'll make me pig's stomach and chicken to nourish my stomach. I'll go home to eat. Zhou Kai said. Mother Zhou was familiar with Fort's wife's cooking. She nodded and said, should nourish you. It's getting cold in winter here. Grandfather, grandmother, can you get accustomed to it? 
Zhou Kai kept on asking. It's certainly much colder than our hometown, but we won't freeze. Your mother had bought new cotton clothes and trousers for both of us. And a pair of big cotton shoes, which is very warm. Mother Zhou grinned. She snatched all the words that Father Zhou wanted to say. Still, he won't be petty. Zhou Kai stayed here for a long time before heading out with Father Zhou. They came to Su Lin's bun shop. In fact, Father Zhou didn't need to lead the way. Father Zhou said that he wanted to go out for a walk, so he let him lead. Outside, they encountered their neighbor, Old Mr. Hu. Old Mr. Hu happened to be sweeping the snow. When he saw them, he asked, Old Zhou, who is this young man? My eldest grandson, Young Kai. This is your Grandpa Hu. Father Zhou introduced. Grandpa Hu. Zhou Kai also greeted politely. Really a good young man. So tall. I heard your father said you went to the military academy? Old Mr. Hu asked. Obviously, Father Zhou and Mother Zhou had normally bragged around. Still, Zhou Kai cooperated and nodded, yes. Currently on vacation, so I came back to accompany my grandparents for the new year. A filial fellow. Old Mr. Hu nodded. Father Zhou was in a content mood as he took his grandson to the bun shop. Old Madam Hu came out of the house and said, Who were you talking to just now? Old Zhou. His eldest grandson is back. He came to see him. He's a tall lad. Old Mr. Hu replied. How tall? Old Madam Hu asked curiously. Half a head taller than our son. I guess it won't be too far off 1.9 meters. Uncle Hu answered, besides, he is good looking. Look so spirited and polite. Old Zhou will be blessed in the future. Old Madam Hu was envious. On normal days, she often heard Mother Zhou talk about her eldest grandson. She never thought it would be true. Chapter 359 When Mei Jiao, when old Madam Hu came over to old Madam Zhu's place, she brought this up. Old Madam Zhu was surprised, really this outstanding? Ain't that right? You know that old man of mine, most people usually can't get enter his eyes. He can't stop praising him after seeing him once, old Madam Hu replied. Old Madam Zhu's mind moved when she heard this. She got an eldest granddaughter. She was an honest person. 18 years old this year and 19 after the new year. Last time, how old did Xiao Mei's mother did say her eldest grandson was? Old Madam Zhu asked. 17. 18 after this year. Old Madam Hu answered. She felt that this young man was pretty good, not 18 yet and almost 1.9 meters. That's pretty tall. Old Madam Zhu said as her eyes spun. Old Madam Hu was a clever person, so she knew what she was thinking from her expression. After all, how many years had they been neighbors? They were familiar with each other's family situation? Old Madam Zhu had an eldest granddaughter, who had reached marriageable age. Nine out of ten, old Zhou's eldest grandson, caught her eye. But old Madam Hu didn't say anything since she felt it won't happen. Despite the fact that old Zhou's old couple were foreign residents, but their daughter-in-law was capable. She was Bay University's foreign language teacher and had moved the family over through the university's connection. Now they were true citizens of the capital. So there is no such thing as looking down on foreign household registration. Especially when their son and daughter-in-law were promising and filial. They bought a TV, electric fans, and the likes. While their own son and daughter-in-law couldn't compare. Still, old madam who came up with some ideas. Especially when she got a grand-nephew from her maternal family's side, who wasn't married yet. It would be great if he could marry the granddaughter of the old Zhou family named Xing Mei. She had seen this young lady. She was well-behaved and very obedient. Her grandnephew was a little wild, but he liked this kind of girl. What's more, this young lady was pretty. She must be able to change her grandnephew for the better. But it was a pity that he went back this year. 
If not, she planned to call her grandnephew over this year and let him see if he likes her or not. If he likes her, then there was no problem. The girl's conditions here were average, while her maternal grandnephew's family was excellent. She won't lose out in this marriage. The two old ladies each have their own thoughts. Compared with them, Mother Zhou was more naive and sweet. While she was in a high spirit, old Madame Zhu came to inquire. Mother Zhou said with a smile, he is back, but only for ten days. After this new year, he has to go back. That busy? Old Madame Zhu asked. Ain't that right? This kid has always been progressive since he was a child. He had applied for harder difficulty training. He used to be quite fair, but this time he came back as black as charcoal. Mother Zhou remarked like was complaining. Old Madame Zhu was quite pleased. It didn't matter that boys are tanned. Having aspiration and ambition was the important point. Really, your eldest grandson came over and you didn't call me. I haven't even seen your brilliant eldest grandson. Old Madame Zhu uttered. Mother Zhou liked to listen to these words and beamed, no need to be afraid of having no chance. De Wa is filial. He will come to see us every day. Oh, eldest grandson really give them face. Of course, the grandsons behind were the same. Er Wa and San Wa were both great. Zhou Kai went to visit his youngest uncle and aunt before going back. At noon, they had mantu with pork belly chicken. This simple meal made this young man fulfilled. There was sweat on his forehead. Lin Qing, he added pepper in the pig's stomach in chicken. It wasn't spicy, but it was very fragrant. Eldest brother, do you want to go to the bathhouse? Zhou Guilai asked. Yes. Zhou Kai nodded. He wanted to take a good bath. Zhou Xian joined them. The brothers went to the bathhouse for a good while. When Zhou Kai came out, he felt a few jeans lighter. The three brothers went to the bathhouse and when they came back, there was only second and third. Eldest brother went to his classmate's house for a visit. Zhou Xian told. Zhou Kai's university classmate Wen Guoliang. Old Wen family was delighted to have him over. Father Wen heartily said, it's enough that you can visit in person during your holiday. No need to bring wine. Zhou Kai didn't come empty-handed. He brought a bottle of good Mao Tai wine. He responded with a smile, I come over to have a few drinks with uncle. Wen Guoliang spoke, why have you become this dark this year? Yes. As black as charcoal. You won't be able to get a wife in the future. Wen Guoliang's sister, Wen Meijia, looked at Zhou Kai and stated, Being darker is no big deal. Let me tell you, girls like us to like this. Bringing us out, they'll feel pride, Zhou Kai said. Wen Guoliang laughed, Come on. No one can match you in narcissism. Wen Meijia also pursed her lips in amusement, Brother Zhou Kai, did you get a girlfriend? I'm only this old. Despite studying early, I'm just a few months older than you. Zhou Kai said. He was tall and bulky. But in terms of age, it wasn't really that big. When out in the crowd, he must be the youngest one. But talking about other things, who can be compared to him? There weren't many. Father Wing smiled and said, Mei Jia is only a senior freshman this year. Which course did Mei Jia apply for? Zhou Kai asked. She went to study nursing and will be a nurse in the future, answered Father Wang. That's really good. Zhou Kai looked at Wang Mei Jia and said, My mother said that the nursing profession will be very popular in the future. Wang Mei Jia curled into a grin and smiled. Mei Jia said that she will go to the army to be in the military medical field. Young Kai, you have to take care of her more. Mother Wang had cut the apple and came out. Father Wang understood what his wife was thinking. When Young Kai was only 14 years old, his wife had the idea of taking him as their son-in-law. In recent years, as Young Kai grew and became more promising, his wife's mind has become more and more unconcealed. So he felt a little helpless. 
It was reasonable to say that the young man wasn't bad, but his little girl was also not inferior. Whether it was career-wise or looks, she was at the top. There were a few colleagues in his workplace who were asking about her. Was there a need to be passionate? Still, he didn't say anything. After all, he liked this young man too. His family conditions were excellent. More importantly, his parents were reasonable. If it was fated to, then it would be wonderful. Going to be a military medical field? Zhou Kai looked at Wing Mei Jia in surprise, it will be tougher. It's nothing. My eldest and second brothers are both over there. Wang Mei Jia glanced at him and responded. Time is so fast. In a blink of an eye, Dal became so big. Zhou Kai emotionally remarked. He watched this classmate's sister grow up. Chapter 360 Had not grown up yet Dal was the nickname given to Wing Mei Jia by Zhou Kai. As she was as beautiful as a doll. Wang Mei Jia pursed her lips in amusement but gave him an eye roll. Zhou Kai sat there for more than an hour before returning. Wang Guoliang wanted to make an appointment with him to head to the bathhouse together. This was the custom here. Best buds went to the bathhouse and scrubbed together. As soon as Zhou Kai left, Wang Guoliang said, Zhou Kai got ability. Once he leaves the military academy, he can be immediately promoted when he joins us. He graduated with Zhou Kai this year. After graduation, he went to the army. Currently, it was vacation time for him too. Now young Kai is back, you brother and sister have to visit his house. Mother Wing spoke. Second brother alone is enough. I don't have to go, right? Wing Mei Jia uttered in shyness. Go together. Mother Wing dismissed. She hadn't met Lin Qing He yet, but she had seen photos of Lin Qing He, Zhou Qing Bai, and the others. During the graduation period, Wang Guoliang had photos taken with Lin Qing He's group. One of them was a group photo. The rest were photos of Wang Guoliang and Zhou Kai. In fact, almost no parents attended any graduation ceremonies at this time. So Father Wang and Mother Wang had never thought of this. It was when their son brought the photos back, they felt upset with themselves. But have to say, Lin Qing, he and Zhou Qing Bai in the photo were almost impeccable. Zhou Qing Bai was tall and steady, while Lin Qing, he appeared intellectual and fashionable. It can be said they were an extremely high aesthetic couple. It was no wonder that they can raise such an excellent child. So the next day, Wang Guoliang and Wang Mei Jia came over with a box of snacks. Lin Qing, he knew Wang Guoliang, who was a graduate of Peking University. But not Wang Mei Jia. However, the two of them look a bit alike. One can tell they were siblings from a glance. This is doll like Wang family's sister you mentioned before? Lin Qing, he looked at Wang Mei Jia in delight and asked her eldest son. Yes. Her name is Wang Mei Jia. Zhou Kai smiled and nodded proudly. Wang Mei Jia copied her brother and greeted Teacher Lin with slight shyness. Don't be so stodgy like your brother and call Teacher Lin. Mei Jia, call me Aunt Lin. Lin Qing, he grinned. Aunt Lin. Wang Mei Jia went along. What a beautiful girl. No wonder eldest say you are the most beautiful girl next door he has ever seen. Sit down. How about drinking some honey and grapefruit tea to moisturize your throat? Lin Qing, he asked. Teacher Lin, no need to be so polite. Just water is enough. Wang Guoliang smilingly declined. It's no trouble. You guys, sit down, I'll make you a drink. Lin Qing, he smiled. She went to wash a few cups, then she made a few cups of honey and grapefruit tea. This was her stock, which she got during the grapefruit season and placed in her space. Of course, it was taken out for everyone to drink. Normally, they were taken out of the room. The children didn't know how much there was. In short, she had a lot in stock. After adjusting a few cups, Lin Qing, he gave them one cup each. 
Wang Guoliang and Wang Mei were very polite. They thanked her before drinking it. Does it taste good? Lin Qing, he asked, Wang Mei Jia. Delicious. Where did you buy it, Aunt Lin? Wang Mei Jia nodded. I didn't buy it. I made it myself. There are still some in my room. In a bit, I will go and give you a can. Lin Qing, he stated. No need, Aunt Lin. Keep it for yourself. Wang Mei Jia said embarrassedly. Drink it was enough. No need to take it back. This honey grapefruit tea is good for beauty. The effect is very good. If you don't want it, then bring a jar back to your mother. This taste is not sweet or sour. Just perfect. She will like it. Lin Qing, he maintained. Wang Mei Jia smiled and did not decline. She said, Thank you, Aunt Lin. The two siblings came over and sat for more than two hours before returning. On the way back, Wang Mei Jia happily chatted with her second brother, I didn't know that Aunt Lin is such a nice person. Teacher Lin has always been very cheery and frank. I think she likes you. Wang Guoliang said. There were female students in the class who were close to Zhou Kai. Teacher Lin didn't express anything, but this time, it was apparent that Teacher Lin was very friendly. The two siblings got home with a jar of honey and grapefruit tea. What's this? Mother Wang was watching TV and when she saw the honey and grapefruit tea her daughter gave to her, she uttered. This is the honey and grapefruit tea that Aunt Lin gave you. She made two cups for us and it was delicious. Wang Mei Jia said. Oh my? Mother Wang broke into a big grin at once and then asked, Teacher Lin was home? At the time we went, she was guiding Zhou Kai on his English. Wang Guoliang answered. Guiding Yang Kai on his English? Mother Wang was puzzled. Although Zhou Kai graduated, Teacher Lin's intention that he shouldn't drop his English. She had found him two English books for him to read. Wang Guoliang explained. Mother Wang was very impressed. She couldn't help but said, wouldn't it be too much work? He has to train and study. And also read English books. It's all right. Wang Guoliang didn't care very much. Having a lot of work wasn't a problem. He envied Zhou Kai a little bit. When you were over there, what was teacher's attitude toward you? Mother Wang asked again. Mom, why are you asking this? Teacher Lin was naturally very friendly to us. Wang Guoliang responded, Teacher Lin was going to give this jar of honey and grapefruit tea to Mei Jia. Mei Jia declined, so she told us to bring it back to you. Aunt Lin is very nice and easy to get along with. She also said when if she is free, she will come over and visit you, mom. Wang Mei Jia nodded. Then I will welcome her warmly. Mother Wang said happily. It wasn't only Mother Wang who was overjoyed. Lin Qing, he was as well. She spoke to her eldest son, your classmate's younger sister looks quite pretty. She is generous and decent. Her family raised her well. She is polite. Zhou Kai grinned, Mom, if you like her so much, then recognize her as your goddaughter. Lin Qing, he looked at her son with contempt. This kid hadn't emotionally grown up yet. Forget the god relationship. Lin Qing, he waved her hand and decided to remind her elder son, if you find a wife in the future, find someone like this. Gentle and generous. Beautiful and proper. Zhou Kai had almost spurted out the tea he just drunk. He looked at his mother helplessly, Mom, I'm only 17 years old, what are you thinking? Okay. Lin Qing, he shrugged and didn't continue. One reminder was enough. The girl will enter the military medical field in the future. How well she matches her eldest son. What's more, there were many bachelors over there. If she didn't give a hint, he will regret it if someone else gets her first. Can support us, completed novel house in link below clip. Thank you for come in and love the sharing story.